Hello everybody, it's Jules here with Beanie. Hello. And welcome back to another episode of the Monday Night War. Set on the one and only Brogna. And today we have a super special battle report for you today because we are once again at Chateau de Chewy as we are going up against him as a duo because Chewy is bringing his Black Legion. However, he's not alone. There he is in the background. However, he's not alone because he has brought Adam and his Gene Stealer cults who are going to be supporting him today. Adam is one of the top 100 players in the UK. So um, I think we're going to get uh -oh. our ass beat. So here we are on another ruined sector of Brobnar and things are kicking off because Tau are going up against the Black Legion and the Gene Stealer cults in a fight for the ages. Ignore that spatula, that will be holding one of our microphones because we are high tech in this house. But today we I'm are sorry. playing uh, Search and Secure. There are six objective markers in play and at the start of each battle round after the first you roll a d6 and remove one of them from the battlefield. You get a point at the end of your turn for each of them that is under your control. The twist today is the classic, the absolute banterous, indiscriminate projectiles. Ooh. Roll 3d6 at the beginning of each of your turns. For each six, inflict d3 mortal wounds on a selected unit, or one mortal wound if it is a character with a wound count of 10 or, or less than 10. And this will be the deployment today so that we can get into each other's faces as quickly as possible. Now, there is a lot of troops, as you can see here, on each side of the table. So let's go and have a closer look at what we're bringing. So here we are first with my Stow Wars. Again, it's a pun that works better as text. Star Wars Tau, here to play. There's 1,500 points on the nose and heading things up today for my Tau set is this counter of Fireblade who has got the Neurotide chip, which will help him be big brain and make lots of smart decisions, supported by Dark Strider over here. Now, I've got three units of 10-man strike squads, all with marker drones, and I've got some crisis units at the back, ready to float forward and sting like a bee slash butterfly bee. We have the ghost kill unit at the back, who is stealthing around, lurking, being a bit of a sneak. And then we have got the heavy boys, a riptide over here. We've got two broadsides. Gunny and Barrett aren't here today on uh, Beanie's Force, so I'm basically playing them in his honor as, Bo as Boonie and, and Garrett. Over here, we've got uh, a Pathfinder a squad. Don't look too closely because some of them are actually just breaches, but don't worry, they're, they're technically fine. And we have six of the smartest stealth suits around. So I'm bringing a lot of DACA here, uh, but Beanie is bringing the paunch. He spiked the paunch with his <laughs> with his <laughs> alcoholic fist. So here we go. Tell us what you're bringing to the table here, my friend. And let's start with everyone's favorite. You know him, you love him. What's his name? Brave Sir Robin. So Robin yeah. is here as my Cold Star Commander. He has Precision of the Hunter. He has the Onager Fist and the Flamer of Death mm -hmm. that gives him extra punches and you have to roll even though it's a Flamer. That's fine. Next to him is my Cadra Fireblade who has a shield drone with him and I've given him the special marker light gun. I think it's the Ocean's Lantern. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what I've been calling it. So that's what I'm gonna to continue to call it. <laughs> Um, then I have two squads of fire warriors. One there, one over there. Then I have some Kroot. I love these guys. Grizzly Feast, please. Grizzly Feast, no, no, please. No, 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 no. And then in the front, there's some Guavessa uh, Breaches who will be jumping into the Devilfish next to them, which today has a invisible Seeker missile. I love I didn't... It, like, it's this Tau technology. It's there, but it's not there. I know, it's stealthy every single time. Okay, then in the middle by here, we have some Pathfinders with two rail rifles in and a shield drone. Mm -hmm. And then just a bit more of the punch. Little squad of stealth, just sit in the middle. Little boys. Big squad, well, I say big squad, three-man squad of Crisis with yeah. some of the harder-hitting guns. Mm -hmm. Got my Riptide kitted out as usual with a shielded missile drone with her. And mm -hmm. then the Sun Shark bomber. Now, this is the, the thing. I can, the sky. I can already hear Adam quaking in his boots from across the room because he knows the power of the Sun Shark bomber. He's shaking his head. He's, he, not, he knows the power of it. So I'm assuming <laughs> he's going to be taking it down first. And let's see what he's going to be using to do so, because, oh boy, there's a lot of cult members over there. So, Adam, tell us what you're bringing to the table here. I see a lot of bikes and a lot of heavy machinery right here. Yeah, well, this is the Cult of the Purple Sand, Ooh. led by the Knocker. So, they, uh, the, they're the, a, what? the Knocker, he's like a uh, Cornish myth from the mines. He, so, if you can hear the Knocker coming, if you ever meet him, you never get out of the mine. Oh, fair enough. So, and that's why, because he's a patriarch. So nice. <laughs> to tear you apart. Um, so, but they are a strip mining organization from the sands of the, the planet, and they, uh, that's why they've got all the heavy vehicles and all the bikes and bits and pieces for running perimeter patrols. But they're all um, super duper combat orientated or on bikes or vehicles. So, fully mechanized lot. 
Yeah, there's um, a lot of boys here and a lot of speed. Quite an established coal, lots of pure strains left in it now. Um, all the neophytes are off doing mining duties, so they're not around. But uh, we've got uh, the <coughs> the knocker. He's yep. got a, he's a prowling adjutant, so he can run away from you when you charge him, which is probably not going to come up an awful lot <laughs> no, in this game. Nope. Um, and then he's got his trusty sidekick, the Magus, and he has got lots of spells and mm -hmm. lots of powers. Uh, and then you've got the gunslinger. The Kellamorph the, over at the back. The man with no name from the, the westerns who comes out of the sand and... It's <laughs> Yeah. Jumps out of his rock grinder and blasts away. Um, then we've got, uh, on the troop side, we've got uh, a big unit of acolytes with rock cutters. Now, which ones are the acolytes? The here? acolytes are the, the oh, normal, these guys the normal yep. sort of guys. Uh, as normal as uh, yeah, Gene Steeler cops get. In the desert, it's, it's not very nice. <laughs> um, uh, yes, yeah, so I've got a big unit with rock cutters. Uh, they've got a thing where they can charge on 3d6 to pick the highest, which is good. Oh, that's nasty. Uh, they've got two units of guys with hand flamers, and they've, one of them's got a demo charge. And they're going to drive around. That's this unit. And, and these this units here. This unit here, the green oh, ones. Oh, yeah, sure. And they're going to drive around in the truck. And because it's open top, they can drive around and shoot their flavours and throw bombs out of it, left, right, and centre. Great fun. What a bunch of yobs, eh? Yeah. I tell you. Hooglands. <laughs> yeah. Um, a bit Gorka Morkerish, really. Yeah, I love it, really. Um, and then you've got uh, two rock grinders in the heavy support. Yep. They've got the cannons. And then in one of them is going to be six gene stealers. And in the Oof. other one is going to be five. Acolyte guys and the gunslinger. Who can jump out, shoot, and jump back in again. Gross. Um, we've got some gene stealers who have got the extra move at the start of the game ability, and then we've got a load of bikes. And got... and you mean a load of bikes? That is the most I've seen pretty much any well, gene stealer player run. To I've be fair, I've not seen any gene stealer players because you are the first person that we've oh, played who oh. run this army. So. Well, the super competitive list has got tw 10 of the, these guys. With, oh, um, blimey. Four, uh, two quads in each, but the, the, the big units got, they've all got power weapons, yep. they've got demo charges, and they've got the heavy flamers. Just Great a quick question, the, the, the quad bikes here, what makes them different to the bikes? Are they just more wounds, better toughness? Do they have heavy weapons on them? Oh, uh, yeah, they've got heavy weapons. So the, the bikes are got twice, the buggy, sorry, got twice as many, twice as many wounds, they've got four wounds a hit. Okay. So, um, and it's good for distributing damage got so you yeah. take damage on them and then you suck up another hit, hit which would kill a bike and ah, it's a bit I, of see, little, I see little janky plays like that and then um uh the other guys um and they've got heavy flamer sorry so you can have a heavy flamer a, a laser cannon or a heavy stubber mm -hmm. and heavy stubbers are just there when you want to use them for wounds gotcha um, but the flamers okay. are quite good um well, it'll be especially range. good against tau because they just melt them i assume yeah and there's a stratagem you can make them uh two damage Oh no! Industrial weapons. <laughs> oh no! Uh, they've also got power weapons. Every, all of them have got power weapons as well, so they're quite choppy. Because you're running a custom cult, aren't you? So what are the benefits that you get for doing that? Uh, so I've taken four attributes. So I've got the synaptic resonance, and so my psychers reroll ones and twos in combat, uh, in psychic phase. Sorry, uh, I've got a custom to turmoil. All the work they've done in the sands. They are. They can't be wounded on ones and twos. Ah, dang uh, it! I've got. Uh, industrial affinity, once again from all their working abilities, they uh, don't suffer any negatives to use industrial weapons, mm -hmm. which is like the, the fun stuff basically. And then lastly, they have got War Convoy, which gives all my bikes and vehicles a six up feel no pain. That is gruesome, but also probably going to be very fun indeed. Lots of tricks and a lot of traps going on over mm. here. And they're going to be backed up, of course, by the sheer rage and might of the Black Legion. Wellity, 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 if it isn't the Black Legion. <laughs> tell us about what you brought today, Joey. Well, we're going to start with my warlord, uh, Chaos Lord Killian. Mm -hmm. um, he's got um, his warlord trait is Merciless Overseer, which means that anyone within six always have the uh, slaughter, wanton slaughter. Oh, great. So exploding sixes, basically. Yeah, so that he's going to be hanging out with the Berserker boys. Mm -hmm. He's also got the relic um, Wrath of the Abyss, which is like a wieldly um, thunder hammer, which is minus three AP, three damage. And, and so it doesn't, no minuses to hit on yeah. that. Um, behind him, you've got two lots of Berserkers. One's got a plasma pistol, and the others have just got chain blades. Um, and then behind that, you've got eight warp talons. Gross. And then um, because you're super shooty, um, I've got a massive blob of 10 terminators with flamers and melters Ugh. and horribleness. Now, what just. What have they got? Oh, they've got Marcus Zinch. Oh, great. So that's going to mean that the first failed uh, yeah. save doesn't mean anything yeah. to them. And they've also got um, the uh, dark, dark, rune, dark Rune of Damnation. Okay. 
um, and you've got um, the Slanesh Demon Prints. Love it. So basically these guys here uh, have a minus one to their wound. Any uh, impact coming in against them is just reflecting off of their sheer bulk. Now this is an expensive unit though, isn't it? It's like nearly 400 points yeah. for all of this. So hopefully if we take this out, that's going to be a sizable portion of your uh, your boy's gone. What spell does the, um, the Slanesh Demon Prince know? He's is the, is got, this where you're looking through your phone uh, desperately? Uh, he's, got it was. he's got Infernal Gaze. Okay, yep, yeah, useful. So that um, just switches off involves, doesn't it? No, that's Death Hex. Oh, it's Death Hex, yeah. Um, God, so it's just oh, juicy, but he's also got the relic of Gorget of Gorgette of Internal Hate. The Corgette of Internal mm. Hate, yeah, yeah, okay, got it. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So just poking <laughs> oh, out of his yeah. rib cage. Because it's Slanesh. Vegetables, it turns out, are very deadly if you're uh, in a so chaos much. faction. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's not even go there, my friend. <laughs> and then you've got two rhinos supporting yeah. these as well, which are going to ferry your lovely chaos uh, berserkers, berserkers yes. forward. That is. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, the durability and a sheer heft of punch that you've got here and the speed of the warp talons or raptors, I can't remember which warp talons. talons. Warp talons, plus the sheer speed and board control of this. This could be a very difficult battle indeed, but there's only one way that we're gonna find out and that's when we get set up and roll for activation. To war! So here we are after deployment and there is a sea of Tau on this side of the board ready to push forward and strike with vengeance for the greater good. For but the greater good. there has been a stiff resistance posed by the Gene Stealer cults over here who have placed a lot of their burrowing ambush tokens around the battlefield ready to pop up when we least expect them. And obviously it means that Anna can choose which unit pops up where to respond to any threat that we are going to pose. Not fun. We forward deployed though to try and prevent or uh, at least hassle his movement with some of the stealth suits over here, the ghost keel over here and another set of stealth suits pushing forward. Um, that's been it. I basically castled my guys together in order to provide some re-rolls and buffs from Dark Strider and the Cadra Fireblade and I'm very worried about exposing this flank here so I've just kind of left the Riptide there as a bit of insurance. Uh, Beanie has gone very cagey by building everything near terrain and in the centre with using the obscuring, this is counting as obscuring for today, uh, uh, terrain that we've got in the centre of the battlefield. Now, Chewy has gone very heavy on the offensive in that most of his stuff is in the sky and the stuff that's on the ground is positioned to charge forward like a ram and obliterate anything that he stands uh, stands in front of it. Uh, what else is in the sky, uh, Chill? You've got your raptors, uh, sorry, your warp talons, talons in the sky and the terminators are in the sky as well and all Bluff. of the acolytes are hiding inside the rock grinders that are yet to pop up, aren't they, Adam? So they yes, yes, yes. So that's it for deployment. So all that's left to do now is roll for the first turn and get these indiscriminate projectiles a-firing, baby. I shall guide our efforts. So here we are after Tau turn one movement and unfortunately we did not roll anything for the indiscriminate projectiles meaning Ooh. that people survived and duds were fired. Now there was a lot of pre-game moving and a lot of ambush tokens flipped over to reveal their juicy contents. Over here Adam moved all of the big squad of bikers and the quad bikes over to the corner to avoid the wrath of all of the uh, shots from the Riptide and the boys. I've kind of creeped up a little bit over here because I want to make sure I've got backline protection but also I want to well challenge a little bit because uh, we've got a rock grinder over here we've got the demon prince and the rhino all very juicy targets indeed. And what's in the rhino? It's the berserkers right. yes indeed. Um, I've also pushed forward with my uh, little stealth suits over here to get round the corner to maybe shoot at the bikers but now they also have a pretty juicy target if we can pop that to shoot the gene stealers that are inside. The patriarch I've just realised is hiding out round the corner here. Oh yes. He's just going like go on kid do daddy proud. Um, Youngie. The Pathfinders have moved up onto objective number six. Beanie's Pathfinders have moved up onto objective number three. And we already controlled whatever objective number it was over here. Four, over so. four, yeah, four sounds about right. Yeah, yeah. it is four. Um, we've got the bomber. Tell us about what we've done with the movement of your team, Bean. So uh, it turns out you can't fly over blips. Yeah, so um, all of the ambush tokens that were here are basically, as Adam described them, a NATO no-fly zone. Uh, so I've had to stop short and just hope that the ion cannons do something before it dies a miserable and horrible death. <laughs> I mean, that basically <laughs> describes our entire lives, doesn't it, my friend? Let's do something yeah, before yeah. we die. Um, <laughs> we have kept a big castle of uh, support over here because there is a lot of combined firepower and they're still going to have to chew through a lot of uh, goatee bodies over here in order to get to us, we Delicious hope. Curry. I mean, there are, I've just realised there was a big gap here, but never mind. We're just going to deal with that as and when that arises, which is probably going to be 
next turn. Um, I've moved my ghost kill up on here because he knows no fear. He's a space marine in all but name. Uh, he's going to die, but he's going to die doing what he loves, and that is shooting and probably missing. So that has been all of our movement. In the command phase, uh, we spiced up the Nova reactors of our Riptides. I've got the five up, feel no pain. Beanie's got the extra shots over here. Mm -hmm. uh, I've buffed up this squad of uh, Fire Warriors with Dark Strider's ability to give plus one to wound and the Counter Fire Blades uh, rerolls of one. And Beanie did the same blade re -roll on, onto them. on those guys over there. So a lot of potential but as my parents would know potential is often wasted in my gene pool so let's go into the psychic phase oh beanie that was good can i have a cigarette let's move over to the shooting phase now we're gonna get some <laughs> dice pick some targets and hopefully something will pop please yeah it's time for market lights market lights baby Okay, so we have started our shooting phase with a bit of a whimper. Uh, unfortunately, I we did, wound. did one wound over here with the, who did it? The devil fish. The devil fish. Uh, really pulling uh, weight at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Managed to do that and everything else missed. We did manage to take out one of the bikes over here with the combined forces of the burst cannons from the stealth suits. But now we're starting to ramp things up because we are going to fire the broadsides down into this rhino over here, going right down the middle to see if we can pop it and unleash the chaos uh, berserker that are inside. Now, Chewy, I believe, is going to be popping smoke right now. So Chewy is yes. paying for, paying for smoke, yes? Smoke screen, yeah. Okay, so one CP down to pay for smoke, so I'm gonna be hitting on the fours anyway because of the marker light being canceled out with that. Here we go. Ooh, that ain't good in the slightest, but because I'm tower, I can reroll one of these. Wow, I have what rolled. Going on, man? I'm going to get rid of these dice because yeah. I actually genuinely feel that they might be I think I gave you some of mine that look exactly the same. Yeah, that, that does not uh, bode well for me. So one hit so, so far. Raise the wound. wound. It's a big wound and, and it's a mortal work. wound on top. Because right. it's uh, straight away. And, and so it takes two. Uh, it's how much damage is a uh, rail rifle? D3 plus three. I think it's D3 plus three. Oh, okay. I haven't got them on my list. So. Oh, let me just double check that. I'll roll anyway. It's a. Uh, it's going to be two, now. double yeah, check. so it's D3 plus three and a mortal wound. So you took six wounds in total off of that. Not great, I won't lie, but no. still did some damage over there. So Sir Robin is going to try and show us how it's done now by firing his single shot from a single plasma gun. He won't miss because we love him so much. It's a big hit on a five, even though the smoke... Three's the wound. Three's the wound. It's a big Ooh. wound. Uh, four. So no save on this one. Three. Three. So oh. No save. It goes through four. D three damage. Three damage. So he's on to one oh. wound remaining over there. The rhino is still spluttering along, but as it's still it alive. alive. I'm happy with that. Yeah, exactly. Should we try and maybe finish it off with the Pathfinders, just doing some incidental fire from the rail rifles that they've got, or did you want to save them for the boys that were going to be popped eventually from that? Oh. What was he thinking, Bean? What was he thinking? I don't I, think. Because I've let the side down here, unfortunately. Oh, you certainly did. I mean, you could use it. What's the range of these guys here? Maybe they can. Six. Let's just see if they can get in. Maybe they can they're do a wound. They're in range. Yeah. yeah they're and the exploding sixes, they are in range. Might as well fire them and they get the counter fire blades um, little uh, buff as well for the exploding sixes. So let's get some dice. We'll be back with the saves. So Chewy has three three ups to make and he fails. That one is, is worth, worth CP. CP. Is it worth CP? Yes. So he's going to CP it. He gets a one. So that means, does the uh, rhino explode? It does not explode despite that. So uh, the guys have popped. Now roll for all of your boys. Do any die on the way out? So this is how things look after the rhino has imploded on itself. All the boys bar one made it out, but now they form a, a nice tasty target for the pathfinders over here who are gonna go in hard with every single shot against these yes, marines. So uh, we're gonna do some, do some rolling, be back with the wounds. So the plucky pathfinders actually managed to show up here with the rail rifles and the combined fire taking down the squad of berserkers to just three men. They're still providing lookout sir protection for both the demon prince and the chaos lord over here, but it does make things a lot easier and a lot less revvy when it comes to who's got a chainsaw. The game you're all gonna be playing at Christmas time. So swinging over to this side of the battlefield, my pathfinders, inspired by their friends, decided to eliminate the rest of the berserkers with a combined weight of fire. Good going, lads. Now I've got the option of what to do with these burst cannons here, but first we're going to swing all the way over to the Riptide, who's going to fire all of its massive accelerated shots into this rock grinder. Okay, so Binthia over here is going to fire down, because uh, Beanie's one is called <laughs> Cynthia, for those not in the know. <laughs> Makes sense. Uh, it's going to cross over this uh, dense terrain, so it's minus one to hit anyway, but plus one because of the marker light. So we're going to be hitting on the classic Tau 4. Let's see if we get anything. Oh, we do indeed. Oh. 
Not bad. And your overcharging, which and I was scuffed off. And your towel set, so you could re-roll. Oh, I could re-roll that. I might as well. No, I'm going to save it for the wound roll. Um, so I get, uh, what did we just say? Threes. Threes, Threes. to wound. Yep. Um, and, and one re-roll. And one re-roll. Well, there we are. Okay, so there is four coming in at minus a lot, but it is overcharged, so we don't know if that makes a difference. Let's double uh, check. I, I believe it's minus three. Minus three, why yeah, don't we minus run? Minus three, four damage. Okay, okay so. so four attacks. I need sixes then to save, so I'm yep. three up save. I'll make one. And so then. that is 12 damage. No, but I've got minus one damage. So it's nine. Nine and damage, and I've got a six up, feel no pain. Ooh, six up, feel no pain coming convoy. in. Coming in clutch now, is it gonna uh, I won't die, so I'm still all right. Oh, nice. I make three, so I've taken six wounds. Not bad at nice. all. What about the other submunitions that old Bimpia has over here? What's she got? 24 inch range. Uh, you have got the missile drones. The two missile pods are also going to follow suit. Hopefully they'll be able to hit. They get two shots each or one shot, Bean? Two shots each. They'll be hitting on fives. Okay, so they'll be yeah. hitting on fives. I see these orky shooting, man. Go Gork and Mork. <laughs> yeah, nice one, dude. Okay, so they completely whiff there, but still a bit of damage done there, which is quite useful for future plans. So that's all of my heavy shooting done over here. Anything, do you want to interrupt with Beam? We'll have a little muse over uh, that. Yeah, why not? Okay. Okay, so we are going to use the plane to shoot the jackals. Okay, so the plane is... Jackals, the bikers, aren't they? Yeah. So yeah. the plane is now going to go in against the jackals. Um, I'm going to mic up Bean, and he's going to tell you what's what. Okay, so... Hitting on. Fours. So we get uh, one mortal wound. Hitting on fives. Fives, yeah, yeah, fives. So I make a mighty three, and I take a mortal. Good. 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 Okay, so uh, wounding on threes. Three wounds. More than minus four, more than minus four, I assume. Uh, no, no, it's like minus two. Oh, is it? Three wounds. Yeah. One for each of them. Mm-hmm. They all failed. They all failed. Yeah, it's two damage a pop. Okay, so first one, six is. Yeah, that's life. That so, so he takes a second shot. He dies, and then the last one goes on the third one, and he's yeah. the right And now the Four last convoy two... for the win. Yeah, that's pretty good. Right, and now two shots from the missile pod that just sits on the top here. Yep. Sitting on fives. Yeah, Not like that. Not like these. Not like these. Okay, so that's the shooting for the plane done. Yeah, it did something. Devilfish has done something. Oh, yeah, yeah, and it did one wound. They so can't hit anyone. It's just my riptide left for me. And this guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So after shooting the uh, psionic raker that's over here, I flubbed it pretty hard. Uh, you did. Because of the minus one damage coming in against the rock grinder, he did no damage, and because of Adam's even luckier saves, it did no damage, and a smug smile as well. <laughs> uh, but he did, with his uh, burst cannons, he did manage to take out one, that's right, one of the gene stealers over Power here. Power play. Um, we've done the incidental fire from this riptide, Cynthia, over here. Yep. Who managed to do a mighty... Zero. Nothing. And now we're shooting her big weapon down at the Demon Prince. Whoa. So, Demons. so it's going. Yeah, <laughs> and it's going to be overcharging because fun. <laughs> yep. Sure. Yeah. Thank you. One. So I'm going to CP one of them. Cool. So threes on that physical marker lights. Yes. Yep. Yeah, yes. Absolutely. So we got five, and it's toughness six. So it's going to be threes to wounds, and I can re-roll one. Oh, really? Very nice. Oh. Very nice. So this is either this is minus three, four, four damage. Five. Yeah, so five four ups. Oh, so he only that. takes four damage. I'm oh, pretty good. So the Riptide obviously did some damage against the Demon Prince over there. Uh, I followed suit by shooting this squad of Strike Force boys over into the uh, Rock Grinder, did one more wound, and then I paid uh, two CP for Pulse Onslaught and the other one that it bu uh, buffs my auto wound stuff. I rolled a three for my Pure Tide chip and managed to get one of those CP back. And now Adam has 11 saves to make on minus two on the Rock Grinder. Oops. Ooh, not bad though. Now all of these are only damage one, so these are just going to be the feel no pains of the sixes. Sixes, six, three, four, six up, seven, pains. Here we three go. Left. Here we four, go. Four sixes. Here we go. Unfortunately, no, not. Whoa. Does Whoa. it explode though? Is the question. Get the mic a bit. It does oh, explode. Oh, oh. Oh. That's very good. It's going to hit every. Not, not, not the patriarch, not unfortunately. And not the character. Okay, so what do you want to do? The mortal wounds? Does your opponent roll? I can't remember. Oh, that's Roll Just your filming. So uh, these take me three. Takes one. Uh, nice. Three, show you on a six. No. No. Nope. Uh, and then the demon prince. Sorry, Cherry. 
Take, take two. two. Right, okay, that's fine. And then does... And then I've got six dudes where I'm supposed to technically... In the order of things, you're supposed to put them out first and then blow them up. Oh. Can't get them out and then they die. Here we go. Okay, so the Gene Steeler cults have disembarked in a hurry, but do any of them die? Sixes, uh, one, sorry. No. Oh, they are absolutely fine and dandy, but the rock grinder is down. Okay, we've at least done something, and now I desperately, desperately want to get rid of them because of how dangerous they are in close combat, so we're going to follow up with all of these Crisis boys here. Sorry, Crisis, the stealth suits, firing everything into them, and we'll be back with the saves. So with all the sheer mass of firepower going in against the Gene Stealers, we have ten saves to make. Let's see them. Fours. Oh, we cut through a fair few of them. How Five, many? one left. Oh, okay, that's not too bad, but they've got feel no pains, right? Uh, no, no, not these guys. Oh, no, they don't the get the feel no pains. The vehicles get the feel no pains. Ah, I see, okay. And I also fired my plasma uh, rifle over here at the Demon Prince, but failed to do the wounds. So, at least we've removed some of the melee threat over here, and I believe that is every single model from our uh, army that is done shooting. Whew, that was a long shooting phase. Just to finish off, I've got morale check on yep, morale. Uh, him. He lost five, he's leadership nine, and he's fine. He's absolutely fine, and no one else can fail morale because we did not do enough damage to them. So we have taken out one transport and neutered one... Two transports. Two transports and maybe one of uh, neutered one of the close combat uh, units there, but there are many, many more as we move into Gene Stealers turn one, and also Black Legion. <laughs> Forgot to say them as well. <laughs> Sorry, Chewie. <Yeah. laughs> Maim, kill, burn! Maim, kill, burn! Okay, so you join us here at the beginning of the combined forces of terror, which is what we're calling them now because of the... <sighs> well, you're about to see. Indiscriminate projectiles, 3d6. All of them were sixes. Thanks, Adam. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate that. So that's going to be three versions of D3 wounds on all of our units or one mortal wound to a named character. So they're picking over here. Where are we going to go for? You think the Crisis Squad? Sorry, the uh, Stealth Suits, the Ghost Kill, and what else? And the Broadsides over there. So Stealth Suits first. It's straight up. One. Uh, and then it's another one for the Ghost Kill. And they take two. Okay. Still... The fact that we took them in the first place was heinous, so thank you for rolling a little less spicy on that one there. Right, they're going to get on with their command phase and movement. So after we have just about recovered from the indiscriminate projectiles, there has been a lot of movement over here. Adam, why don't you walk us through what you've done with your Gene Stealer cults? So I've decided I need to uh, limit some of this firepower coming in on us, so I'm going to try and tag as many units as possible. So I've advanced the bikes up on the, on the left-hand side, with a view to me casting uh, Psychic Stimulus, which means I can charge after they've advanced. Oh, that's very nice. So that's so, going to be coming from the Patriarch at the back, is it? Uh, no, it comes over him. He's got oh. a stratagem for one CP. You can put your buff spells anywhere on the board on a core unit. That's and super, then, super useful. Core, well, so. he's got a very big head. Yeah, he does. He's, he's a big, big brain head. move. Big brain move. Um, big brain and then over here, we just the, the Demon Prince, who's only got a couple of wounds left, and the bikes and everything are just moving forward to try and engage as much of this infantry as possible. Yep. The Steelers are making a play up the middle, along with the Chaos Lord, who advanced. He changed his trait. Nice, yeah, he's taken on the Red Corsairs for today, so it means he can advance and charge. Just a quick question here. Are these uh, counted as obsec troops in Gene Stealer Cults? No, no, okay, no, so no. we are technically contesting at the moment. I think that you probably have more on the objective than we do, but We're it's an elite battle. Apart. Yeah, true. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know why I'm pretending like they're going to survive um, this turn. Um, over, over here, the, I swung around to cover the objective, or the guys moved off of it. Mm -hmm. Vehicles move around to protect the characters. And then we've done a bit of a push on this flank with a view to um, trying to chop up some of this lot and take the objective underneath the breaches. I tell you what, it looks like a Morrison's car park over here because there is a lot of vehicles just slamming next to each I other. I often with see devilfish and rhinos in Morrison's car park, <laughs> especially in Orchard. Like. Goliath. So there we go, that's been all of your movement done. Uh, time for the psychic phase, which we have no understanding of. So what no. are you going to try and cast? Uh, so I'm going to start off by casting, I'm going to start with my Magus. Yep. And he is going to cast, uh, he can cast two spells, mm -hmm. and he's going to cast uh, the Psychic Stimulus to advance and charge on them. Sure thing. So it is a six, I believe, but I re-roll ones and twos. Well, you're Doesn't absolutely matter. fine. Ten. And now I spend the CP, and I can broadcast that wherever I wish. Very nice so indeed. That's done. So they're the advance and charge. Right, advance and charge onto these guys over here. Uh, and then uh, his second spell, he is going to cast... Can't see them, so I will just do a smite onto Cheeky the smite, ghost kill uh, for an eight. Nice, goes so, off. Yeah, that goes off. It does 
Three mortal wounds. Sorry. Right, so uh, I am going to have to take it onto the shielded so drone. And then yep. the other two will be removing that one there. Yep. Cool. Yep. So he's down without protection over there. We go with protection. Yeah. Um, is that's, um, and then the Patriarch. That's the comes. Magus. And then the Patriarch, who's a bit more um, zappy sort of mm -hmm. style uh, abilities. So he is going to cast a psionic blast on the. Stealth suits, cool. Which is a bit like a smite, but if I roll over your elite ship, which, which you did, definitely do, is a flat three mortal wounds. Ouch! And they've got one wound apiece, haven't they? Two, two. Okay, so one is down to one wound over there. And Already then he's starting cast, to quake. Uh, mental onslaught, which is a twenty-four inch range spell, onto these guys. So I can see the drone. Oh, okay. Uh, and that is a five uh, or six. Yeah, yeah it goes off. Um, what does that do? Uh, that does. I roll four dice, and any fives and sixes do a mortal wound on you. Oh, I like that. That's cool. And if I kill anyone, which no. I don't, so that's the end of that. Cool. It would happen again, would it, if it kept on going? I roll three, and then I roll Ooh, two, and then I roll really one. That's a really good spell. It's good against one, one wound infantry. infantry. Yeah. Bad against space marines. Yeah. Uh, and that's. Oh that's, no, sorry, yeah, no, yeah, sorry, got, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm going to just do smite. Sure thing. Which goes, goes off. off. Four. Yeah, second smite. Yeah. One. So it kills the wounded uh, stealth suit over here. And that's it for mine. Nice. Okay, a very successful psychic phase, yeah, really. It was. So we're going to do some shooting now. Uh, would you consider any of these incidental that we'd roll off camera, or is it because they're so squishy? Should we see all of them? Most of it is incidental, to be honest. Okay. I've only got one big gun left well, in, in the entire with, army. Do you want to start with the big gun, or do you want to work up to it? Uh, like I'm going to work up to it because I want to. I need to try and put some crossfire markers down on you. Ah, so I need I to see. do lots of incidental fire to do the. The Got you. Bits. Okay, so we're going to be back after we've done some shooting. So there's actually a bit of fun to be had here because the Kelomorph has jumped out of the uh, transport here. He gets to fire and then he gets to jump back into the transport afterwards, which is very <coughs> cool indeed. Coward. Cowardly <laughs> move. Indeed. Um, I think I have a minus uh -huh. one to hit because I'm a um, stealth suit. Yes, big. yeah, that's fine. I also have a minus one. I'm going to use, uh, he's got the relic, the rim tooth rounds. Oh, okay. So he's a heavy, so he's minus one to hit anyway. Cool. So, and he hits on a two normally, so he's hitting on three. Nice. And if he hits, he gets to shoot again. I like that. That's so, very cool. So exploding effectively. Yes. Well, not quite. You have to roll to hit again. Oh, okay. I get you. So the first lot, uh, there's two hits. Yep. So he gets two extra shots. Nice. And he hits two twice more. So he's four hits. They're strength six. I'm toughness six. Yeah, so it's forced wounds. Uh, uh, two wounds. AP minus on this. Uh, minus three, three damage. Wow, Ooh. that is insane. Not as insane as that, though. I definitely fail this one because uh, I yeah. don't think that I... Yeah, just take the just three. three. Take the three. Uh, I think I'm down to six, seven or six. Yeah, six, because I think he has nine. Nine wounds, does yeah. Degrade. Yeah. And so because I've hit you with a multiple damage weapon, I get to put a crossfire marker on you. Ah, so all the rest okay. of my units now get plus one to hit. That's really cool. So basically it's like marker lights, but you're doing damage first to almost trigger it rather than doing the action. I yes, like that. Yeah, there's really certain cool. characters allow you just to put them down. Really cool. Love that. And now he's going to jump Five back into the truck, is yeah, he? Yeah, so he's going to go whoop, whoop. So yeah, this is a bit of competitive proper Phase. play. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's good though. I like Phasing that. play. Okay, so... Uh, and then uh, I'm going to shoot the, my only big gun that's in the army. At sure. him as well. Cool, so minus one again to hit. Uh, yes, uh, but I'm an industrial weapon, so I don't suffer any neg negatives to hit. Oh, that's really cool, yep. So, uh, and I got plus one to hit because you've got a crossfire marker. Ooh. So I'm hitting all threes. Oh. Okay. Oh. I hit twice. Uh, no, it's all right, I'm going to charge him with a rock drill and kill him with that. So sure thing. Um, so, uh, strength eight. Nothing. Uh, fails to wound. I will reroll that though. Yep, sure. Nice, Four big wounds. one. AP on this one? Uh, minus three, this one is, and okay, it's so flat three damage. I make it with a six, <gasps> though. Okay, Ooh. well, I'll just have to kill you in close combat, that's fine. <laughs> I don't think that should be a problem, because I believe that that is basically like a can opener, and I am a giant can. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to obey with some incidental fire, and be right back with all the wounds and markers. So here we are after the shooting has been done. A lot of these guys here, because they advanced, couldn't fire, but the flamers went into this squad. Unfortunately, they did no damage whatsoever. Oh, what? These guys here managed to do slightly better Sorry, and pick sure. off four of the squad that is protecting uh, the Dark Strider and the Counter of Fireblade. I lost two of my go my stealth suits over here thanks to the combined weight of just psychic onslaught from before. And over here, lost a few wounds on the ghost keel. Um, he's down to six wounds. 
And the devilfish is dead. The devilfish has been completely eradicated thanks to Melter and Flamer combo bombing over there, and the uh, Pathfinders over here have also lost breaches. breaches. Sorry, have lost a fair few boys as well. Four, isn't it? Because they're yes, yeah, there's still six left. Perfect. So that's been all of the shooting. Um, it's rattling our bones, making us quake in our boots. But what's really going to turn us into brown trousers is going to be the charge phase, which is going to happen <laughs> right now. Declare your charges, and let's see what you get. So here we are after the charge phase and there has been a lot of bodies moving around. Over here the bikes made their charge, they sallied forth into my pathfinders. The demon prince floated up and over these uh, stealth suits and is about to crush them into paste. Unfortunately the gene stealer here decided to stay at the back and clack his claws together in thoughtful appreciation. The bikers over here made their charge going up the accessibility ramp in order to make sure that these guys here are going to have an absolute nightmare of a time. But Outside of another key charge, which was uh, the uh, <laughs> Berserkers and oh, the Bikers yes. moving in against the Breachers and the uh, Rock Grinder moving in against my Ghost Kill, there was unfortunately one failed charge, and it was a big one because the Gene Stealers declared a charge up against the Broadsides. They needed a six, thanks to me using this strat here, which is Repulsor Impact Field. Unfortunately, Adam rolled a five and had already spent a CP for a reroll, so they are staying put right now. But I think that his friends are going to do a lot of damage anyway. So where would you like to start the combat, my friends? Uh, we're going to start with the Demon Prince. Okay. Demon Prince is going to be going up first into the Ghost Kill. Yes. Uh, sorry, the Ghost Kill, the Stealth Suits. Hitting on twos. Oh. Is threes. it hitting on threes? Doesn't what? matter anyway. What because I, minus yeah. one because I'm stealthy. Oh, minus yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought that was only with range. No, 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 it's everything. Oh, okay. It's okay, so this is strength. Strength, lots. Um, Eight. Okay, so it's going to be two. Yeah, it's strength eight, uh, minus two, three damage. Okay, so it's going to be twos to wound, isn't it? Because I'm toughness four. Ooh, snuck another two through. Um, and then it's minus what? Minus. minus CP. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to CP another okay. one. Okay. Ooh, no. unfortunately Ooh. the CP did not work out there. And then it's minus two, did you say? Yes, minus two. So I'm on, I'm on, am I on a three up save as um, stealth suits? No, yeah, three. Now you're on a five. Okay, so five ups. And I made one failed one, so only one dies from that combat. But he did die yeah. horribly. Yeah. No, it's minus two, Demon X. Ooh, just, uh, he also got a Malefic Claw, has he not? Oh, yes, he has. Oh, yes. yep. oh, yes, it doesn't hit, it doesn't hit though. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just gonna hit my three. Hit my three. So the stealth suits have actually managed to do pretty well out of that. Um, are you going to pay to interrupt now, or do you want to do something else? Um, well... Do you want to fight with the breaches? <laughs> <laughs> you could kill a bike. No, I'm not going to. Ah, okay, cool. It's a complete waste of points. You know what, lads? Um, seeing as I hit on fives, don't I, in combat? Yeah. I, you know what, I'm just going to let you have it. Six, I, 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 oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Okay, you know what, I'm not even going to pay to interrupt. You have your at it. We'll come back with, uh, well, what's That's left right. of these. <laughs> so after the combined attacks of all of the bikers here and all of the bikers and buggy here, I lost four of my Pathfinders and I lost one of my guys over here. And they have tagged Dark Strider. Uh, Adam was going to attack these guys here, but I reminded him that I've got an, a strap which allows me to pay uh, one CP to count them all as pistol two, so they'd be able to shoot into combat and that would have been Pretty nasty indeed. But I think the big uh, victor out of all of them has just been the uh, stealth suits at the moment. But uh, it feels like Chewie's unbridled rage is growing because he's about to unleash all of it with these uh, berserkers. So look at the amount of dice that he's putting into his shovel-like hands. This is excessive by any stretch of the imagination. So here we go. This is what? There's six locks of what's in your hand? Yes. because they. Wait, uh, this, uh, is, uh, this isn't all of the attacks? No, this is not all of the attacks. <gasps> Because I was only picking up the dice that are available. <laughs> okay, hitting on. Twos. Twos. Ah, any re-rolls? No. Oh, not that you need them anyway. Cool. One, one. Cool. one, one there, okay. I believe. And threes to wound or twos to wound? No, it'll be twos because... It's like six now, isn't Oh, it? man. Let me check that, but yeah, I think Oh, so. man, just roll them anyway. I think we'll be, I think we'll be fine. Five base. What's the... Um, Minus AP two. on this. It will be AP minus three because of the icon of corn. Oh my! <laughs> okay. Yeah, they're okay. Dead. dead. They're very <laughs> dead. They are so dead. So uh, obviously the bikers were just there going like, yeah, yeah, we we contributed. Yeah. yeah. You said you want these guys to activate and shimmy up into here, was That's it? Cool, right? So they're uh, taking the objective over there for Adam and Chewy. Now we have a real yeah. big battle here that we're going to roll on camera, which is going to be the Ghost Keel versus the Rock Grinder. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, how is this battle going to go down? Well, we said that the Rock Grinder is smashed into the side of the building, and as it's crumbling, the Ghost Keel is falling into the mouth of those blades there and is punching away as best as he can. How many attacks does it even get on the charge? It gets eight attacks on the charge. Eight attacks on the charge? That is way, that's way more than I thought yeah, it was yeah. going to have. 
And I'm guessing it's got a weapon skill that's actually pretty decent. It hits on threes and it ignores your modifier to hit. Oh me, oh my. Okay, here we go then. So, okay, wow. so you only drop one and it's yeah. strength a lot, I imagine. Strength eight. So it's going to be threes to wound again. Oh. Oh, okay, uh, so it's three through. Any sixes do anything with this guy? No, uh, hang on. It's you got six wounds left. I do have six it's wounds. Mine. You got four up invulnerable save. Uh, no invulnerables with this guy. Uh, so it's, it's only two damage. Minus two, two damage. Okay, so this is going to be five ups then, so isn't it? I will, about whether we I, will okay. re I will re roll one. Okay, so CP. Yeah. Yes. So it's four saves to make on five ups, I believe. And yeah. it's how much damage a piece? Two. Oh, he. <laughs> I am dead, I believe. Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> yeah, even if I make that <laughs> do one... Explode? Do I explode? That's a great question, Chewie, and I'm glad that you've asked that. Because I nearly did, but no, unfortunately the ghost keel is oh, out of there. He's basically just gone like right into the mouth and everyone inside has just gone, ha 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 ha, tasty delicious. So that's the end of the combat phase. Morale to well, take... Well, no, you get to fight back now. Well... Come on, let's... I'll roll them... Oh yeah, fine, I'll roll them off camera yeah, because this... <laughs> So, against all odds, the Pathfinders managed to basically punch a wound off of the bikes here, but these squad of Strike uh, Force Warriors, they managed to clothesline a biker entirely, removing him from the battlefield. I did fail my morale with the Pathfinders though, unfortunately, so I lost three on morale, which was pretty brutal, leaving two holding uh, ish that objective, but I'm clearly being outnumbered there, so that means that the Gene no, Stealer Colts... You've got objective secured. Well, Pathfinders do. No, they're Pathfinders. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, Pathfinders. Yeah, no, no, they, no, they do not, unfortunately. So that means that the Gene Stealer Cult uh, have taken this from them. So they get one point for that. They get another point for this, or are we tagging this on the exact same? Uh, I think I've we have. A, I've got 11 models. I think we actually have more in range of three than you, maybe? So you've only got six? Seven, maybe? Seven, and how many have you got there? No, I've got the full ten. Okay, oh, so, nine, sorry, nine. so there's two points there, and then the third point. So you are also... We've got, we've got, we've got five objectives. Five, five, five objectives, so five points for the combined forces of cults and chaos right there. So pretty nasty indeed as we move into Tau turn two. What? Stealth team ready for next assignment. So here we are after the turn two movement and I've pulled out of combat here so I can allow other targets to shoot in with fresh eyes and fresh guns. The uh, stealth suits are pushing that way just because I know that there's a, an objective around the back of that building is there. Yep. So we've got to try and make sure we're pushing forward for that. The bomber has now moved across this unit of gene stealers and is going to be dropping the big bombs onto them. So it's 9d6. 9d6. Fours are great. Oh, oh my lord. That's eight. That's eight of the nine. So that's eight mortal wounds going on to them, so only one gene stealer remains. That has been incredibly lucky indeed. Hello. <laughs> so... Um, I've, I've got a case of the feel bad. Yeah, that's, that's a feel bad <laughs> uh, bit right there, unfortunately. Do that again, every time. <laughs> yeah. uh, Adam, why don't you just look into the camera and shake your head? Not happy, <laughs> not chewy. Well, it's your own fault for not charging you, <laughs> Yeah, true. Um, we've also dropped down our crisis suits over here. I've dropped my squad over there yeah. to try and eliminate the berserkers, and Beanie's done the same to try and get rid of the squishy, squishy magus. So that's all of our movement done. In our command phase, I buffed up this squad with both the plus one to wound and the um, reroll ones. And I've gone for the extra shots with Binthia over here to hopefully eliminate the Patriarch at the back once we've cleared the line of these buggies. So it's into the psychic phase. Gosh dang, again, that joke never gets old. And we shall move now. And it never will. It never will. Um, we did similar <laughs> Pathfinder style um, marker lights as well. I got one off on the Demon Prince and one off on the buggies. He has yet to do that. his, which looks a little bit like. Okay. Yeah. And that's what the marker lights look like. Beanie just basically went ham on that rock grinder there, putting it up to, what is it? Uh, seven. Seven, seven uh, marker lights there. I want it dead. <laughs> yeah, definitely <laughs> want it dead. So now we move into the shooting phase, and uh, shall we start off with a bit of... Shall we get rid of the demon? Yeah. The demon, the demon should not be allowed to live, and both of the broadsides are turning very slowly. Actually, I'm going to fire them one at a time because I can Remember do. They've got four plasma cannons as well. Yes, so. and they're going to go down into the Chaos Lord. Um, yes. And, but the big royal fools are going to go into the uh, Demon Prince. Four up. Yeah, so it's, it's four up. Four up. It's, it's, so big four uh, shots, isn't it? Because it's two shots apiece with the rail yep, rifles. So all these guys hitting on threes. Reroll one of them. Reroll one of these uh, for oh. a CP or not? Ooh, I'm going to use my Tau Sept. Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, tau set. And now, um, and now it's going to threes? Yes. 
That is three big wounds, and so that is three mortal wounds straight away, because unfortunately it's... Uh, it's a it? mortal wound every time you do uh, oh, a wound. It's just a wound, right, is it? I'm just going to double check, double check it seems they've horrible. They've got some weird rules, haven't they? Yeah, the target suffers one mortal wound in addition to any other damage for each successful wound. So you can't shrug it, you can't do anything. Do you want to even roll for it? No, See how much damage it takes? He's gone. The warp has claimed him once more. I like the little pop noise there, that was great. <laughs> I'll add that back into post in full comedic sound effect. Um, so that's them done, and then all of the... Warp sucks it back. It's just like <laughs> yeah. The warp is like a big hoover. Um, and then all of the, what are they called again? The high Plasma. Plasma stuff into the Chaos Lord. How so many four shots, shots, shots. Uh, shots with the four guns. Now this is going to be hitting on fours because he has no marker lights on him. Doesn't need him. Oh, oh, that was that was rude. Two, twos, yeah. He is, but human, and, and it's three. minus four, so it's four, four up uh, sigils of corruption. Ooh, how much damage? Three. Okay, so he takes three wounds. So he's down that. to three, I believe. Not bad shooting from the boys there. Happy with that. Um, do you want to follow suit with anything else? Yeah, so I'm going to now do some shooting with him. Oh, this and, guy. And uh, he's in half range to that gene stealer, so oh, he's going to take two shots on into one. it, hitting on threes. Oh, oh, he hits the ones. Oh, this is all he needs, though. Come okay, on, Okay, so wound on threes. There it is. Oh, he's... Oh, you, you can re-roll it if you want. And the Gene Stealer has been removed from the battlefield over there. Um, so, I'm going to pay one CP to shoot into combat, as if these were counted as pistol two. It might be two CP. We'll have to double-check yeah, that. Yeah, let's check. I know I can here. refund one of the CPs uh, for it, if it is that. So, do I refund it? I do, so it doesn't cost me anything. It was one me? CP for point blank. There Volley. we go, so it doesn't cost me anything. So I'm going to fire all of these guns here into these outright, these outriders, um, these wannabe outriders, which Jackals. looks a little bit like. So over here, I managed to take out one of the bikes and bring another down to one wound. And now this buffed up squad that has the sixes, uh, so re-rolls of one and plus one to their wound roll from Dark Strider and the Cadre Fireblade, have also spent two CP for the Pulse Onslaught and the... Uh, point relentless... Blank Volley. No, it's re re um, Relentless Fusillade. Fusillade. Relentless oh, Fusillade, and they're going to fire into these guys here. So they're going to be hitting on threes, sixes explode, sixes also wound, and they're gonna be wounding on twos as well. Pretty nasty, but we'll be back with some saves. Oh, an AP minus two as well, just for good measure. Okay, after all of those shots managed to get in 16 wounds, this is gonna be saving on sixes, isn't it? Sixes, yeah. Here we are. Well, that's pretty good though. Wow. So one, two, three, four, four saves, only four. And then how many is that going to be? Six to wounds. Oh, six oh six yeah, how many? Sorry, because they're bikes. Uh, it's only saving another two. two. Uh, down, so that is um, ooh, nine, nine wounds. So that's one. Yep. So, um, and two, four, six, eight, is it? Uh, two, so three, five, eight. Yeah. Nine. Sorry. Nine. So, quarter. Um, Cool, because it quads four wounds, isn't it? Wicked. Okay, so he's still managing to chain into the Patriarch over there, which is a bit of a problem for me, but at least the damage is done. And now these guys are going to fire at the same target. Straight on Bring into them. Up. Let's do it again. But this time they're going to be hitting on fives because they are definitely hard to hit. Unbelievably, after all the shots there, I did no damage. So the riders are still intact, pretty much. They're taking a bit of a blow, but not enough. But now Beanie's plane is going to shoot down into them with the six Ion rifles. Ion rifles. rifles. I'm going to overcharge. Overcharging them. Why not? Here we so go. Looking for fights. Not that. Oh, new. So two mortals and three mega hits. Okay, okay. So almost a mortal wound per hit. Okay, so basically now. Strength eight, so it's mm -hmm. going to be two, uh, sorry, three to wound and got one reroll. Uh, with the uh, set. Uh, and one no. car? For the oh, other one? Uh, oh, yeah, of course, yeah. 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 Oh, no, one no, car's 12. Far away. I was so going further. Just two, minus two, minus two, two damage plus. Sixes. No, and then first one, sixes. Nope. Oh, thank you very much for removing them, Bean. That's another two riders out of... Are they young and They're yeah. not, unfortunately, so he's going to have to... I'll take... I'll leave him. Mm-hmm. I'll take two on him and I'll take two on the budget. Yeah, that makes sense. Cool, so we're still holding the objective off of him now because he's blocking his own man with that there. Yeah, yeah you got number one there. Okay, cool. So we've done what we needed to do, even if it did take a little bit of extra work. Okay, um, so we're going to go for... Uh, some humiliation rounds. Oh, and we're going to do ten oh, shots no. on the crude into the Lord. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> that really means a lot. Hey, hitting on the force. Oh yeah. man, the crew is showing up. They are, and then it'll be wounding on fours because it's strength four. That's not bad. So four. That's four wounds, no minus. Ooh. So four three ups. 
the humiliation rounds peg another one off of him. Yeah. <laughs> so what is he on now? Two. 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 Amazing stuff. Um, are we going to do Sir Robin to finish the job and maybe split some of his fire into the... Yeah, so Sir Robin's going to but all... Oh. Split five. Oh, oh, I know, it is always risky. Four up and vulnerable, it's risky old business that is. Okay, so if he's within 12, he's going to get he hit by the, the super flamer. So only the plasma gun is just going to shoot this guy. Okay, so let's, do you want to start with that one first, warm yeah, him up? So hit on twos. Nope. Re rolling for precision of the hunter. Thank you. Uh, and now wounding on threes to seven, isn't it? Mm hmm. Yep, cool. So it's minus four. Don't get saved. Three damage. Down, Down to, to two. two. Cool. Yeah. And now. Shrug the pains? No. So he does take the two damage. Okay, and then all of this is going ill. The rest of his shots are going into the Chaos Lord, bring who's it. about to. Just <laughs> bring it. To, what, is that what he's saying? Bring Killian it. Killian is saying bring, bring it. it. <laughs> okay, so uh, ten, 10 shots from the outburst. High out. The Opal Starfruit crowd. Thank you, yeah. yeah. I can't say it. It's impossible. Reroll everything? Yes. Precision of the Hunter may be one of the best like yeah, yeah. Warlord abilities. Yeah, to tone down. Yeah. yeah, so freeze to wound, re-rolling, and he misses, but none of the re-rolls. No, apparently no, so no re-rolls needed. No minus, because it reduces. <laughs> and he's gone, but only just, though. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm going to re CP1. Yeah. 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 He's got a flamer now, uh, this D6 plus 2, strength 4, minus 2, 2 damage. I'm going to still CP it, just so you have to do it. Yeah, okay, so it's going to make you work for your dinner. Okay, right. Okay, so he's down to one. And then the flamer hits are going to come in now for D6 plus two, did you say? D6 plus two. Oh, they're chaos. Yeah, they love it. Oh, no. Three. Three. Oh, no. Okay, uh, so hit. Spicy. Okay. Three wounds. Wounds on. Okay. Two wounds. Minuses. Uh, two. Uh, minus two. So down to minus one. So two four ups. There he and is. He's dead. Oh, fine. So that's that, was, that was a bit close, though, but no one like. So that is the warlords for. Um, the problem is we give him that up. Because I moved across. It doesn't matter. That's absolutely fine. We're still going to get right, one... the rock. <laughs> we're still going to get uh, one, <laughs> two. Well, that's going back some. I know we're going to get two two objective points anywhere. Um, two mm -hmm. victory points. That's fine. I've got loads more shooting to go. Um, I've already paid two for drop site bomb. Uh, sorry, drop threat acquisition with so my. Would you like to do that? And I'm going to go straight into the uh, berserkers, which looks a little bit like. Oh, by the way, this allows me to reroll all my hits, just so people know what I'm doing. See ya. Right. So over here, just as a quick catch up, I. Dropped my uh, crisis guys down, and they did uh, nearly next to nothing. Only taking away maybe two or three with the help of Beanie's uh, stealth suits over mm -hmm. there. It wasn't great. I'm pretty nervous, no. but thankfully Beanie then said, "This is how it's done." Spent two CP on his special strat to give them extra rerolls for everything. Took out the Magus, uh, the big-headed guy. Mm -hmm. um, also spilled over one wound over there, and has managed to blow up in theory this uh, rock grinder because we're now rolling to see if it explodes. Does it explode? Does it explode? Oh, yes. it does! Oh, oh, that's not good. Is it within six or three? Six is. Will it affect your Pathfinders? Oh, it does clip yeah. the Pathfinders. Yep. So. Pathfinders and the Acolytes, so on the... Acolytes? Acolytes, it does. Ooh, the, big three. the big three. So three Down Acolytes have gone. And, and then, then onto the Pathfinders. That'd be one, wouldn't it? That's oh, how it so usually works. Two. Yeah. <laughs> so that's two of the Pathfinders gone, but the Rock Grinder is dead. And now let's see who, how many people spill out from outside. Well, there's only one guy in it. Oh, so, so just the kill them all. And he's oh, dead. Oh no, the Kalamorph is dead! Which happens quite a lot, oh, you'd be surprised. No. Oh, I didn't notice that. He rode that bus straight to heck and back. Oh no, okay, so that has taken out two of the characters in one round of shooting. Very nice indeed. Only thing left to shoot on our yeah, side I here, we've got, we've got the, I'm talking about the big guns over here. We've oh, got uh, Cynthia and Binthia are still going to shoot. Uh, so I'm going to fire uh, Binthia into the, uh, the jackals over here, mm. just because of the fact that um, yeah. I've got nothing else to shoot yeah. at and I can't target the... Patriarch, so we will roll them. Now, how many shots is it you get for the um, big cannon again? Eight, because you chose to I have the extra the shots. Charge, whereas I went for the five up field of six. Hit. Seven, eight, but I will be hitting eight, on... No, no, no. Hitting on the fives, though, won't I? Uh, fives, yeah. Yeah, hitting no on markers. fives. No markers on them. Uh, and no re-rolls, so I get only two hits there. Strength is... Seven and... Um, I didn't, yeah, I didn't. Threes. Cool, so two so there. Minus three, three damage. So it's no saves. So we're straight on to the Fiona Pain. So the first hit on the wounded quad bike. Uh, he is gone, and, and then the next. On the next one is. is oh, ooh, it's alive on one wound. wound. And then the uh, other munitions that it's got is. I think it was three per person. Oh, was it three damage? Oh, per sorry, yeah, three. Yeah, I'll oh, yeah, try not six then. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, <laughs> so there, two of those have gone there, and then what other munitions does Binthia have? So you gave. Uh, you normally run it with plasma, but cool. it might be. Um, Too far away? Uh, no, plasma's 30. 
Oh, okay, so go to, is it two shots with the plasma? Yes. Two shots with the plasma coming in, hitting on fives. Uh, I'll use my tau step re-roll on that one. No, okay, and then it's threes? Three, yeah. Ooh. Not uh, in Montcar range. Not in Montcar range. Might be worth a re-roll. I'm going to CP this one. Cool, so I do wound it. AP minus four. Minus three. Oh, three, so no save again. Save. And it's D6 plus? Uh, no. Uh, just D6. Oh, oh no, just three damage. Three, it? Just flat three, okay. And that is the other one gone, which means now that the Patriarch is open for targeting at later dates. Uh, the two shielded missile drones, because I have to nominate all of their attacks at the same time, are also going to go into the, uh, the riders as well. So two shots with them, hitting on sixes now? Two shots each. Oh, two shots each, but they are hitting on sixes, aren't they? They are hitting on sixes, yes. Yay! Okay, so that is all of my shooting done. Beanie has a lot more shooting to do with his boys over here. But it's a lot of little guns apart from Cynthia. What can he actually to... see? Who's Cynthia? Oh, they can see the rock grinder over there, but what can the boys see? They can't see anything, can they? No, you won't see the grinder. These guys can see them under there. Oh, they're they going to go... Be at a minus, because this is counted as the Mechanicum. Yeah, so it's going to be... Well, and also you're shooting through that as well. Dense terrain going through that. <laughs> yeah, there's big... Like giant <laughs> <dance> <laughs> right in his face. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> these guys over here are going to shoot down into the Berserkers, yep. and the Cynthia is going to shoot into the rock grinder, I assume. I believe that's how this is going to go down. Cool, we'll be back with the results. So uh, Beanie paid for the cool pulse onslaught and making sure that they, all the weapons were firing double their amount and hit the berserkers many, many times, but now has managed to get in five wounds, five wounds. wounds at minus two. Minus two. So, so, minus one. so that is going to be only one, one slip one through. Wound. Lovely. Those berserkers are quite resilient against all of oh, our shots over here. They're just angry, so you just anger them more. So they're just going to charge to wherever I think oh, the closest. Dear. It's going to be bad, that one. Oh, um, uh, this squad hasn't fired either, and four of them can see up there. Okay, so another so four shots. Massive four shots in on fives. And a good oh, yeah. effort. Oh. And then it's going to be uh, Cynthia is going to fire at the rock grinder over yes. there. So you paid for the five up, feel no pain, and not the extra shots. Ooh, hang on. Let me just double check something. If they're in 24. Uh, oh no, the jackals are. So the two smart missiles are going to go into the jackals. The big gun is going to hit the. Ooh, the smart missiles. Let's do them first. Yeah, <laughs> might as well go for it. Minus one ballistic skill, then it's minus one to hit. You can only minus one. Um, minus one oh, it just takes one from the bone ballistic skill. <laughs> okay. But then it doesn't require line of sight, so yeah. should, isn't that just the mine? Isn't that the only? No, because they just minus one to hit. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So six is to hit with the smart missile launchers. Not that smart, and only one hit finds its mark. Quite dumb. Quite um, dumb. Yes. Quite dumb. Yes. What's the threes? It's Ooh. not even a big wound. Nice. Okay, now the big gun is going into the rock grinder. It is, and it is overcharging. Overcharging for the laughs, here we go. And I'm gonna CP that. Nice. Nice. Okay, so I'm gonna get two hits and take a mortal wound. For the privilege. <laughs> and then it's going to be, how? what's the wounds? Uh, two's to wound. And a far sight enclave reroll. Ooh, two big wounds though. So minus three. Uh, sixes. Whoa. Okay, so four damage. Down to three. And okay, so three wounds on the rock grinder over and I there. I put the one um, mortal wound onto the drone because he never does anything. He's just there. Cool. So it's going onto the drone <laughs> over there. The mortal wound that you suffered. So that's all of our shooting done, correct? Yes. It was pretty successful. Um, we pushed back where we needed to go. Um, we took out two characters. Obviously, I don't think there's going to be any charges, but we have forgotten something that we've only just uh, rectified. Because of the rules for search and secure, you're meant to roll at the beginning of the battle round to remove an objective, and I rolled a six finally, so that hard-fought objective that me and Adam have been basically contesting for ages has now finally gone, so those pathfinders are just standing out there looking like lemons. So that's been morale. it. It's time for some morale now. I. Lost. This guy behind there has lost oh, a lot of friends. The Acolyte, there's one left. Let's see if he does it. On a one. Get a one. He's fine. Okay, what about all these guys? Because they lost a lot. There was ten to begin with. They're not fearless because of Patriot. Uh, no, he does something to combat attrition. Okay, so that means they're probably like ones and twos. It'll just be down to ones. Okay, so, but their leadership is pretty low, isn't it? Yeah, I'm just getting too calm on point. Okay, so insane bravery going off for the jackals over there, making sure that they stay uh, where they need to be. Apart from that, uh, the berserkers lost how many? Uh, only three. How, what's their leadership? Uh, no. 
Yeah, quite high. Hang on. I mean, can, can they fail it? <laughs> if they get a six, seven, eight, nine, they can't no. fail. They literally can't fail. I will check. So that is the. So that is the end then of uh, Tau turn two, and unfortunately, we only score the one victory point, which is underneath here, because we eliminated everyone that was on that objective, and that one disappeared before our very eyes. Oh dear. One VP as we move into the combined forces of cults and chaos. Maim, kill, burn! Maim, kill, burn! So as night descends on the battlefield, so does the chaos, because we are now after the uh, cultists and chaos turn two movement, and the warp talons have arrived in force, scary and full of claw. Um, we have got a bit of a problem here as well, because these poor old stealth suits are now having their backs uh, about to be clawed apart by the single gene stealer and Adam has pushed forward with his jackals over here in order to make my life an absolute misery now that I've lost, uh, already lost the objective that's there. Uh, what else have you guys done? Give us a little shout out. Well, basically we've moved uh, berserkers forward, they, you've got their attention, yep. so they're quite angry. Um, the jackals have also moved forward to try and soak up the overwatch. Yep. If so if there is any. Yep. And then um, what? The rhinos come forward to take the object, keep the objective for us. Yep. We bought these round to try and reintroduce them to the game. So I've got range to hand flame with these guys to get a crossfire marker on you. And then I'm going to turn off your Overwatch here and then finish off him as required. Um, Very nice. I've dropped down my big unit of acolytes with rock cutters down here for a risky eight inch charge. 3D6 pick the highest though at least and try and snip them up. Snip, Very snip, snip. nice indeed. Okay, so now the psychic phase is somewhat limited, but there's still a bit of punch with your patriarch over here. So yeah. why don't you tell us what you're going to do then? You're just going in straight with a psionic blast. Uh, sevens cast, so it's D3. Uh, plus one's eight. Your leash of eight, I assume. So it's, Possibly, yeah. Uh, two mortal wounds. Okay, that's so that's one of the crisis suit. Uh, sorry, the crisis suit. The um, stealth suits is dead, and then he's going to do something else. Uh, and then I'll just smite, because I think it's better than the other option. Uh, and it goes eight. off. So, and then it's just another one. Oh no, cool. you needed that extra one, didn't you? Okay, so that is going to be a one dead and one on one wound over there. So, nice psychic phase, pretty useful. What about the shooting, eh? Hey, hey, uh, hey. Shooting's a bit more limited now, you've killed most of our good stuff. But yes. we are going to start off with a storm bolt turning to him, I think, Luke. Yeah, Let's try yeah. And so pick him off. Here we go. Fours to hit on you. Fours. With the additional, because Who's of... shooting what, sorry? So the combi into there. Oh, into the single crisis. Yeah, yeah. so Stealth. because... Stealth. Because the one turn... The three misses. The one, one out. Yeah. Oh, oh no, it's closest unit, so it's... Oh, that's a plus one to each, Black yeah. Legion. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Black Legion. Black Legion for the wounds. And that's three wounds. Three wounds, yeah. Saves, plus one cover, so, so it's on a two up yeah, save. Yeah, two up saves. Why, why is it on wounded on twos? It's tough as four. No, no, hitting on two, no, I was hitting, hitting on two. twos, but I did a, three, yeah. I, I wounded you with three, so oh, okay. had two fives and a six or something like that. Two ups. Oh, one right. slip through, one. so he's on to one wound. Okay. Right. Uh, I... right. I'm going to do the bolt pistol shots from the berserkers. Yep, yeah. yeah. into the crisis. Uh, no, into, the, the, uh, yeah. into the lane. So, into the uh, hit on fours. Hit on fours, fours yeah. uh, pistol doesn't matter, so at the moment, and then... That is one wound, one wound. enough to kill him. Unless he, so, Beams just got to not roll a one. Oh, and he didn't. Luckily, and the plasma. <laughs> I've got plasma. Yeah, overcharging. No need. No. Oh, hello. Whoa, that right that's hits. crazy. And what are you doing to me? Okay. So this will be your five up. Yeah. Oh, a four. Nice. So the so, stealth suit has been removed from that area of the good battlefield. Job. Right, in that case I'll shoot my two bikers mm -hmm. uh, at the crisis suits. Okay, so the bikers going into the crisis suits yeah, over so here. One of them's going to throw a blasting charge, which is like a super frank grenade, so it's sure. just D3 shots. And just one. Hits on fours. Okay. It does and not the hit. shotguns, one hit. Five to wound. No. Okay. That's the end of that. Right, okay, so the truck in the middle. Truck's going to fire at. He is going to put his... I'll put my auto cannon into the plane. Okay, so the auto cannon's going into auto the plane. And then we stub her into the plane. Yeah, so and minus then, one to hit it. Yeah, the um the demo charge is out of range. So uh, a bit of tracer stub of fire first. Here we go. Fives. No. It's <laughs> traced, it doesn't matter then. Uh, and the auto cannon hit on set fives. Nice, two, two hits. hits. Uh, and then then freeze. 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 Nice. 
Okay, so one wound. One wound. Minus one. one. So five up. Ooh, oh, the plane takes damage. two damage. Yeah, two damage. And then the first wounds. squad of acolytes going to shoot their flamers into the crisis suit. Because this is open top, they can fire the flamers out for this many Ooh, shots. D6 good. apiece. Uh, 14. 14 auto hits going into the crisis suits. Being used crisis suits over there. Uh, one, two, three. Just three. three. So three at minus nothing. So three three ups to make. Yep. Uh, three two ups technically, or not from this angle. Up to you. I have no idea about this. What's the ruling say? The GT plan. Three inches for, um, for if you're within three inches, the barrier between that point and that. Okay, point. so it does not no. cross. So he is. Threes. Oh, nice. Two wounds taken on. Uh, so the stealth drone. Uh, no, I'm going to keep that and just yeah. put two on to someone else. Cool. Sure. Okay. So the drone's not taking the wounds. It's going to go onto one of the actual models there. They're, they're demo charged at range, so then I'm going to shoot another four-hand flames at the same target. So same target from the other squad that's in there. To shoot. Uh, oh, not as impressive five. this time. Uh, eight, ten. Four. Ten auto hits. We've only gone five. Oh, that was a good roll, though. So, one, two, oh, three, not bad. Four, six, six. Happy days. So, six, three ups again. Oh, that's a yeah. bit healthier as well. Are you going to take them on the uh, Dronio? Uh, I can't, because you're going to take them on the Oh, yeah, so I might CP one of them. Yeah, sure. Nope, mm. into the two, so that guy is dead. That's unfortunate, but it's okay, it's okay. And I'll shoot five pistol shots from these guys into them. Okay, so pistol shots going in as well. And no wounds for the pistols. Uh, oh, you're going to get Okay. I hit you lots with the hand flamers. Is that uh, all you're shooting? Uh, I've got this. No, he's out of range. You've got these bikers over here. They uh, they came oh, yeah, from the picture right, and yeah. then you can attack my... Uh, yeah, yeah. My Pathfinder's already falling over in submission. Yeah, uh, <laughs> and you I also will... can fall back and shoot with these guys, can't you? Yes, I fall back with them, so I will shoot the... Shoot the, what should we call it, the warriors. Sure thing. Uh, I will throw the blasting charge at them because there's six of them in the unit still with the drones. Yes, so yes, yes, yes. Three shots, so hits on threes, four, sorry. Uh, and wounds on three, strength five, minus one. Okay, so that's going to be minus one. Can I just give you that light? Uh, minus one, so it'll be five ups, actually, uh, but I'll take it on the drone. It'll be four ups because you're in cover. Oh, yeah, okay, so I'll take it on the drone if I can. Yeah, okay, so the marker drone gets popped by the demolition charges. And then a shotgun, one hit, and one wound, no modifier. Whoop, and a save. Okay, and then these two guys I will throw, because I've got them to spare. I'll throw a demo charge at these guys. Very mean, very excessive and cruelty. Shotgun. So the shotgun first, one hit, mm -hmm. four to wound, three to wound, sorry. No, no wounds, and, and the demo charge. This demo charge. Oh, big six. no, 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 no. no. What we wanted to see. Oh, oh, that's okay. Two hits, though. Okay. Two wounds, minus three. Okay, two so dead. no saves whatsoever, but I might be able to take one on the drone, though. Yes. Um, does the drone have an involve? Not no, a marker one. It's got a three up. Oh, it's minus no, one, no, is no, it? It's got a four up, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah, four up. Sorry. Cool, so I take those two off, so I have one Pathfinder remaining. Woo! Ooh, <laughs> okay, um, is that all you're shooting? That's that, that's that. He's not they've shot, they've shot, they've shot, yeah, that's it. Cool, that's all the shooting done, so now it's going to be time for the most important one, the charge phase. Now, Chewy, I know you are itching to get in, so do you want to have a little think about it first, or are you just no, going to... No, I'm going Black Legion. Okay, so no thought at all, you're no. just going in for it. Do you want to try the warp talons over here, or do you want to wind up to them? I'll wind up to them, because yeah, that's Yeah, that's you know what option. I'm going to do, don't you, mate? Okay, so, uh, you're going to charge in against my crisis. i charge the buggies first. Cool. Okay, I'm not going to pay for Overwatch on them. Absolutely fine. They're just going to take their lumps. And then, Wait, this is the uh, Berserkers coming uh, in with seven. A seven. Yeah, they're so they in. They are perfectly in there. No issues for them whatsoever. The rock. Twi I'm going to spend a CP to make it impossible then. Okay, so he's spending a CP for photon grenades, so that means that there's no cheeky 12-inch charge there. You've been rolling way too many sixes for that to not be cheeky, if you know what I mean. Although, I probably should have saved that for the other guys. It's just the unit. You just put it into place. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's magnificent. It's cool. Not, it's, not, I guess, it's, just, it's not like Tangle. It's just says until the end of the thing. I thought it was like Tangle, but so, uh, that's even better. So I've gone for a charge onto the crisis suits. But Beanie we've... has made it impossible with the yeah. use of, is it photon grenades? No, um, uh, the other repulsor field. Repulsor impact field. Repulsor double, impact field. Double check it is all units, I believe it put, you put it on your unit. Well, about a suit unit from your own side of the charge until the end of the phase, yes, yeah, so yeah, so, cool. so, so that's 
hopefully made it a bit difficult for the other guys. Yeah. Yeah. For a really easy one of the Gene Stealer onto the yep. suit. Okay. So the Gene Stealer's coming in and he's yeah. very much With in there. He's going to jump yeah. around this side so he doesn't... <laughs> <laughs> well, he's going to face them. What about these um, uh, jackals over here? Uh, well, I'm going to start with the, these ones onto these guys. Okay, this one I will pay Overwatch for here okay. um, because actually no, I've got these guys coming in over yeah, here. Yeah. Yeah, I probably want to save it for that. Yeah, go, go for it. Okay. So yeah, they're in. Cool, they are in there. Beautiful stuff. Right, and then I will charge the other jackals. Other into... jackals coming in. I'm going to leave them until see what happens with Luke's guys. Okay. See what Great. I need to do. Yeah, no, see what I need to do. Yeah, no pressure. So now I can yeah, do... He's not going to watch with them. He's going to watch with them. So now I can do photon grenades with these guys, right? Or a pulsar field with this guy. Twice. I'm a different army. It doesn't matter. You still can't use the same stratagem twice in the same phase. It's a strat... The strat, strat each stratagem can only be used once Ooh, per phase. Oh, okay. Oh. I think. But you can use the photon grenades because that's, that's a different... That's yes, okay, strat. cool. I'll use the photon grenades with these guys to make it minus two. Is that well, I on? think you do that when he declares you as a charge. Yeah. So in that case, in, you, what you do is only charge. Yeah, I'm going to charge you. Right, because so you're only charging the Riptide, so I will now do over, early override, so I'm hitting on fives, and it doesn't cost me anything to do my C, yes. uh, to yeah, overwatch. Yeah, yeah. So they're going to go into these guys Please. over here. So that overwatch over there was actually pretty impressive. I managed to wipe out four of the warp talons under the hail of fire from Binthia. So not too bad at all. And now Chewie has to make the charge of nine inches. Let's see it, baby. He's doing it, he's doing it, he's doing it. Dice. Oh no, it's an 8 CP reroll. Yeah. It's oh, not no. made. Yeah. He is out in the open. The warp talons are sex exposed. So the acolytes are going now into against, uh, against the crisis, but it's still a minus two because of the stratagem that uh, Beanie played earlier. So, minus two, 10 Repulsor inch charge. Field. Repulsor yeah. field, that's what it's called. Eight inch base, plus two. Two oh, he's made it! Oh, he's, he's made it because yeah. he rolled 3d6 and discard the lowest here, so not bad at all. So they're in combat and it's going to get spicy. There was actually one more charge to make over here as the Jackals made a charge in against the Strike team over here because of the fact that they want to tie them up and all the firepower they have. Now it is time for the fight phase. Um, oh, where do you want to go? Because wherever you go, we can't really pay to interrupt and I don't even think it's worth it even if we did. So. Maybe, maybe, maybe with them. Yeah, I'm just checking some. Um, yeah, I mean, you're going to annihilate them with the uh, crazy strats because you're already in. Oh no, you lost your um, Chaos Lords, so you're not in Wonton Soup. Who's? Hitting on twos. Oh. <laughs> That's not enough, Mrs. Bean. That's no. not enough. And there's an, auto an automatic wound. Yep, okay, how many are there? Auto wounds. And uh, two automatic wounds. Okay, two auto wounds. And then this is going to be strength. Strength six, so yeah. Threes. Yeah, three swords. Twelve saves at minus. Three. So twelve six up saves. I believe. Oh, actually, now I've got shield generator. Do you want to start taking them like, yeah. two at a time oh. on the shield drone? Here we go. So it's four ups for the shield drone. Good start. No. He's dead. Right, okay. Uh, so then it's all the rest of them. Your dice are cursed. Um, and now these are six up saves on all the rest of the boys here. Wow, not a single one. Oh, oh one. They're dead. They are. Because no, they're no, three wounds apiece. Four, four, four wounds each. Four okay, so, so one. Eight wounds, two, of them. two. Two, and one is on no, one's three. Yeah. And then I've got. Okay, that's pretty bad. I'm going to put them up here. <laughs> Get them out of combat. Assuming <laughs> you're not going to uh, interrupt, I'm going to. Uh, I can't fight I can't you. That's why yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah, uh, I'm, uh, get, I'm getting out of dodge. Oh, oh. I'm getting out of dodge <laughs> while I can. Okay, and I'll, I'll activate these guys next, and I'll just come over here. Yeah, yeah, sure thing. So, so the jackals are moving forward over there uh, after the cowardly towers retreated well, from battle. Okay, so we are now over on this side of the table where we're going to be attacking with what they call it, the acolytes, and they've got acolytes. crazy like pincer, snappers, horrible, yeah, rock disgusting cutters. rock cutters. Ooh, gross, nasty. First, firstly, I will be going in with the normal guys. Sure. Try and plink off the, the, the shield drone bits and pieces because the rock cutters damage three. Mm. So I don't want to waste them, waste the big hits. Uh, so these guys hit on three. Eep. That's good. That's a lot of uh, hits already. And they are strength. Uh, four. Okay, okay maybe this is the one. Uh, oh, you can't remove it. So that is only, well, only one wound. Okay, only one minus, wound. Minus two. Minus a shield generator. Two. Well, it doesn't matter. Yeah, so four up. And he's not made it. How and much damage? Okay. One, no, just wound. one just wound. So, uh, yeah, can you put a one wound? Yeah, one? and then uh, the sergeant, who's got a whip, so he's a reroll with hits. Nice, <laughs> nice. Really good. Yeah. Real good. Four hits. Uh, five, uh, five to wound, yeah. Mm. One wound, minus two. Oh, okay. Come on, shield drone. Oh, he stands firm. Important, right? Um, now it's time for the big snappers, yeah, though, is it? Snippers. So these snippers, these rock cutters here, they are strength. That's 
stroke eight. Oh, oh. What they just thunder hammers with a funny name. Minus four. Three, oh, three. they're better. Oh, me, oh my. Hitting on? Freeze. Oh, no. Do you want to reroll one? I might be worth it, yeah. Nice. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, three stones. Okay, so there's four, four coming in at minus. Four, minus do you see? Four, so. So, so one at a time on the drone. Oh, me, oh my. Please, drone, please. Oh, oh, set a CP here. Yeah, come, <laughs> come on, drone. You can do it, Droneo. Yay, Yay, first one. And now again. No. no. Okay, so okay. he's gone. And then the rest of them pile in. So the two will uh, automatically go through and kill the guy with the purple head. This one, and then he takes four. Three Ooh, ouch. Yeah, so, so, yeah, so he took... He's down to one. Yeah, one has been a nine. Because he had four, so the three would have hit him, and then the other three would have had to have hit him, so he should be on full, shouldn't he? Yeah, I've got four hits. Oh, Save yeah, the one. first one. Stick the... Oh, no, yeah, sorry. Yeah, 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 sorry, okay, yeah, so, yeah, sorry, yeah so... So at the end of all of that, this guy here is left uh, alive. Oh, that's still and not we... great. What do you do the Gene Stealer fighting over here against the um, stealth suits? Or as uh, they are calling it, easy prey. Uh, he's got four attacks. He hits on twos. Of course he uh, does. He hits on threes now because you're. Oh, I'm stealthy. stealthy. Not that it really matters. Strength. Uh, it's only strength four, so it's four to wounds. No wounds. Uh, am I toughness four? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. So I still survived there. Maybe I can batter him. Uh, probably not though. I doubt it. Two attacks a piece though with the stealth suits, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, you got five attacks with your sergeant. Oh, you are right. You are correct, sir. I'm rolling him. I'm yeah, hitting two on. Two and three. So hitting, on. Like hitting on. Hitting on. Hitting on. Oh, classico. Oh, you like orcs. Oh, classico. Oh, okay. I, I, I wish I didn't. Fourth wound. Come on, mate. Yeah. Come on, kill this gene stealer, please. There is the single wound. Could it do it? Four up. It does do it! He's killed the Gene Steelers! Wow. They became <laughs> Tower of Legend! Yeah, that is, there's a place in the academy for them. That's actually quite <laughs> useful because that's... The heat of their uh, fusion gun is just going... You know what? That's not. Uh, that's actually uh, quite useful because that means that I can get around that corner next turn and get onto that objective and take it from you from having more models. Very useful indeed. Other fight backs over here? Yeah, I get a little bit out of seat. So Sorry about that. It was got very excited there. Yeah, I'm quite happy with the excitement. Uh, so I've got five attacks here against the warriors. And you charged in. Yep. Uh, so cool. two hits. Three to wounds. Uh, oh, no. Wound. No, uh, no wounds. No wounds. Three, so oh yeah, of course the jackals are. Yeah. Okay. So um, is that all of your charging units done? Uh, he's still got a. Oh, deal I, with I, that. he's got five attacks. Oh, they're 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 a bit more iron. Yep. Uh, they're winning threes. Yeah, three wounds minus two. Oh, well, no save then. Um, no, 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 you have six ups. No, six ups, you have four. You are correct, sir. Six up saves. He makes Whoa. one of them, so hey. there's two Great. dead strike forces down. Okay, it's time for the punchbacks, I believe, Bean. And we're going to roll them all off camera because all of them are pretty rubbish. Apart from the cool one that was over there. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are after all of the fight back and I've done a mighty zero wounds. I've done a mighty zero wounds and we have done a mighty one wound over there killing off an acolyte. Yes. I also did zero wounds over here. There seemed to be a running theme with uh, combat tower but don't worry because the big important thing here is having nobody obstructing these uh, stealth suits means I can push forward onto that objective in the next turn. End of the round is time for some morale. Also it might disappear. That's the thing, it might disappear, it may disappear. Okay, so what we need to do now is do morale. I lost uh, two guys over there, I can't Five. fail. They've got nine, there's there. Yep, same with that, Same guys, there. Uh, those there. Mm -hmm. I lost two sure guys over count. here. So no, no, can't fail. Do you know what? I don't think that anyone has to. Oh, yeah, the warp talents do, though. Yeah, the warp talents are the only ones that do. If they roll a six, just don't roll a six. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> okay, that was pretty the way, close. The way it was going, I thought, yeah. <laughs> right, so end of the phase, we've got three objectives. You do. One, two, three. One, two, three objectives under control. Uh, so that means that there is three more points for the combined forces of Cultists and Chaos. So as we go now into Tau turn three, not only are there indiscriminate projectiles, but please roll a dice and let's get rid of an objective. Ooh. Number three. Oh no, it's the one in the middle. Oh, we are not going to win on points, I tell you that much, mate. No. We're going to have to work very hard to take back these now. In fact, I don't know if, know if we can. Ooh. There's pretty much no way, but there is also... No. Good. Brave, brave for the Robin can get where he needs to go. He is fast. He is furious. We can get everyone in there, kill everyone over there, and that means that he I can be our capture point. I still have Terminators to come in. Never. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> don't even worry about it. Okay, so uh, Tau, turn three. Let's get it on. My cause is just. I cannot fail. 
<laughs> so here we are after our turn three movement. It's been pretty decisive, actually. We've had a bit of a uh, move around because we realised that objectives are disappearing left, right and centre and we must get on top of them. Um, mm -hmm. I've pushed up with the Riptide over here to eliminate the warp talent and all of these guys here are going to shoot into combat. They've fallen out of combat with the Jackals because the Kroot are coming in to save the day. Hooray, Kroot, that's why we love them. Kroot, Kroot, Kroot. And all of Beanie's forces have started pushing forward over here to shoot the uh, Berserkers off the table and also try and contest objectives with Sir Robin pushing forward again onto that objective over there. And I fell back the mark, uh, sorry, my crisis, because if he had oh, stayed yeah. amongst the Al Acolytes, he'd have just got stabbed to death. We were lucky in the sense that we uh, rolled some indiscriminate projectiles, got one off and did three mortal wounds to the Acolytes, weakening nice. them uh, immediately. And I've pushed uh, this uh, crisis suit over here, falling out of combat, because he's actually contesting this objective. And if we pop that rhino, I will be holding it. Now, Beanie's flown his bomber all the way over towards the Patriarch. So let's roll one dice and hope that we get Come a on, mortal four wound. Up. Eden, That's not, not a four up. Not but it's four. okay, it's there to shoot him in a minute. Exactly, okay. And I've pushed my. Um, uh, Stealth, stealth suits. Stealth suits over here because now I'm actually controlling this objective because the Patriarch is but one model. No matter, how one scary, no matter how scary he is. Now, psychic phase. Ha 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 ha. Now, let's move into. Well played. Um, I've also given my uh, Riptide extra shots and Beanie's given extra shots, I imagine. Oh, yes, as well. yes. We're, we we're, want we're to going to crush. Oh, so yeah, we want to crush, kill, destroy at this point over here. So uh, We have got Markalites to worry about the first. It is time for some Markalites. One's going off from this Pathfinder into the Warp Talons. Does it go off? It does not go off, so I would actually appreciate some help with that, but I don't think you can provide me with any. I cannot. Oh, in that case then, I'm going to put the drone that's um, from this squad of uh, strike force guys over there. They're going to go yep, into... Yeah, on the three. They did move, actually, so I couldn't have done no, it. No, no, the drones can fire it after oh. they moved. It's just people. Okay, that's bad on both accounts there, so no... So can I do something to feel better? Yes, please. please okay, do, so uh, I'm going to do the one marker light from the Patriarch onto the Patriarch from the plane. Oh, thank you. Hey. hey, that's gone off. So one marker light there. Um, then I'm going to put uh, three marker lights onto... Ooh, in fact, I don't have that many people left. Uh, I... One moment. So uh, three into the Berserkers, one is the Rhino with the four remaining. And... So one on the Berserkers. And then it's going to be onto the Rhino. Ooh, yep. it's a three, there we go. So that is one onto the Rhino there. So not that great in terms of our... Uh... Well, there's also him. Who, does he want to put another one into the Berserkers? Well, he, he has to put six into the Berserkers. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is why lantern. I was somewhat hesitant there. Okay, the lantern coming in strong, and that is another... Oh, somehow caught. Ooh, so it's only it? two. two extra, but it's still better than a kick in the net. Exactly. Okay, so that's all of our uh, marker lights done. Let's try and remove some stuff. So I'm going to pay a CP so I can shoot into combat over here. We'll roll that off camera. The Pulsey you're, Pistols. You're going to shoot all of these guys into them, I imagine, to weaken them up or go for a fight. I don't know exactly yeah. what you're going to do. I'm going to spend the two CP to really buff these guys up to shoot into the warp talons. Good idea. And we'll be right back with the results from those actions. Which kind of looks a little bit like this. Um, did a lot of shooting with the Kroot and they managed to take down all bar one of the bikers. Oh yes. Managed to do the same over here, all bar one of the bikers, because I paid uh, to shoot into combat and because of all the big buffs that I had on this unit and the re-rolls and the blessings of Stark Strider, I managed to wipe the warp talons entirely from existence. Make the pop noise again. <laughs> exactly, they went back to the warp indeed. Um, we're going to do the broadside just because it's big comedy and they're going to go down into the rhino over there. They don't get to use the um, marker lights. Smoke's going on so they're going to be hitting on the fives. I mean, why not, eh? Uh, these are going to be the rail rifles first. Oh, we hit twice. And he's going to use the towel set reroll. Oh, it's three oh, hits from that. Thrice and thrice only. Uh, this is going to be nines on... Seven, so threes. So threes. It is three big wounds, my friends, so three mortal wounds on top, and they have gone through twice, so it's going to be D3 plus 3, 4. Yeah, it's dead. D6 plus 2, D3 plus 3. Oof, yeah. it is very dead there. So does it explode, though? Oh, it does explode! <laughs> so it's gonna, but it's going to damage my crisis. He might be able it's to remove really me from funny. that. Do it for the crisis. <laughs> Oh, he does kill him! He no, kills. Yeah, yeah, he's only on three wounds. Oh, so alive. the crisis, the crisis unit. So nobody defeated. has it. Yeah, I like that's very chaosy. No one shall have it if you we roll cannot. For, roll for me. Oh, yes. For the rock grinder. Let's see it. Oh, only the one. See, I'll drop that. No. No. <laughs> no. That was a big yeah. bang indeed. Uh, yeah. um, so that's all of the uh, stuff that's in range, and you can't fire anything else. So uh, that's. I think Abinthia can't actually shoot at anything. There's no, there's no valid target, I don't think. Yes, there is. What? 
Oh, no way. She's got a 72 inch but range I, gun. But you want the, the most firepower yeah, to go yeah, into yeah. it, so I'm going to let you do that yeah, one. Yeah, because I'm going to be starting with this unit to shoot into there, and then he's going to be coming around against the guy here that he can see. Okay, cool. So that's why he's there, because he can actually get those shots off. Right, we'll so be we'll back yeah. after the rolls for that. So we have done a bit of a jump forward now and Cynthia and this squad here have fired into the Berserkers, removing all bar oh, one. Sensual stuff indeed. Now, Beanie, go over the plan that you have for Sir Robin. Brave, brave Sir Robin. So, brave Sir Robin is going to put all of his shooting into the Acolytes, then he's going to charge down the way and punch that guy in the face. Yep, so fingers crossed we should be able to say goodbye to two of the cult units. So you're going to do your shooting, let's do it on camera for a bit of a treat for the boys and girls okay, at home. Okay, so, so seven. This is with eight, the Star nine, Burst yep, Opal Fruit so Cannon. Ten shots, hitting on those two. And re-rolling everything. Okay, so that's a lot of hits. Uh, no. So, uh, three wound. Rerolling everything again because Which he's. Which is lucky. Yeah. Blimey. Okay, good conversion. Okay, so take away the twos. Eight. So, yeah, eight at minus one. Okay, minus one, so I'll take one of the guys behind the wall. Sure thing. Yep. So, and what's their save that they. They, they go up to a four up save, so they're now on a five up save. Okay. Okay, so they have been removed from the battlefield, and then he's going to get punchy later on. He is. Um, this squad are going to shoot that Goliath. Okay, so this squad of Pathfinders here is going to shoot up there. They've got two rail rifles, so let's iron uh, rifle, yeah, sorry. Yeah, so we'll do, no, rail. Oh, rail, right. yeah. So, hit on fours, because uh, I didn't put no. any... Uh... You did on the... Um... Ooh, oh. snake eyes. Okay. What, are you going to re-roll? CP? No. You can't CP. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah, you've already yeah. said... Uh, okay, so uh, there's still more shooting in there, but I don't see the need to do it on camera because yeah, it's which all is the incidental. incidental fire. So here we are. We are uh, firing the stealth suits into the Patriarch now. So we're hitting on fours. Uh, all of these are the burst cannons. So see. You've only got one burst cannon? Oh, I do. Uh, because one of them is... No, have I not taken away the, um, the, the leader? Oh, you got one... One fit, one oh, I thought they both had the burst cannons. I thought I'd taken away the leader. Both have yeah. burst cannons. Yeah, so, so, yeah I, I thought I'd taken him away because I thought it was not a... Uh... No, that's fine. And then these going to be wounding on... What's the toughness of a Patriarch? That's just five. So uh, fours. it'll be fours. Uh, we get an ample four wounds. four wounds through. No AP. What are you saving on? Four ups. One rules. Oh, not bad. Only takes one wound. Or oh, does he? Because doesn't he have a shrug or anything? No, no, no shrugs for him. So my plane is going to okay. put the full firepower. Okay, so into it. So two seeker missiles. Yeah, let's and go. I did I get the mark light? No, I didn't get the mark light off, did I? No, did there, I? There was one mark light. Oh, okay, cool. There we go. Yeah, hitting that on was threes. my mark light. So hitting on threes with these. Mm. Lovely. So uh, this will be three to wound. It's a big wound. It is, and it is minus two. Or, no, minus three. Four sorry. ups. Oh, that was it. I'll CP it. Hey. Okay, good, because that was two D three damage. Yeah, yeah that could have been <laughs> quite bad. And then he's got the iron rifles, hasn't he? Well, just have to wear these. <laughs> uh, overcharge again. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Ooh, that's pretty spicy. Okay, so I take two more of wounds. I wish the counter fire blade was in. Taken two, you, from the Yeah, so he should be on eight. Okay. Now. Okay, so these will be wounded on threes. Yep. Not bad. So, was that four. one? Four. No. Was, that was one of them, yeah. Oh, it was so. Yeah. yeah, I thought so. Okay, so four coming in at minus. It doesn't uh, matter because it's invulnerable, is, is yeah, it? Yeah, it's invulnerable, it's minus three. Damage? It's four damage apart. Four so, damage? No, sorry, two <laughs> damage apart. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry, I was thinking, sorry, I was thinking about the wrong gun. Oh no, he set them all. Eight. Oh, eaten, oh, eaten. So the Patriarch yeah. has eaten the big one. Yeah, I thought well, I was going to heroically intervene to you. Oh. Okay, well there we go. So that's all of the uh, shooting done from so our army. Charge. The only charge worth making is uh, here no, and uh, and uh, Sir Robin. Sir Robin's going to get... You get your four. He's very much in there with a nine. And then over here, the crew are gonna make their charge in and they get in there with a six. There's gonna be some chomping tonight. So Sir Robin is going to hit four times with the Onja Fist, hitting on threes, re-rolling because Warlord trait. So three hits, it is strength 12, so threes, re-roll that. And it's minus four, three damage, yeah. Oh, okay, so he has gone Gone, gone. Um, so it's the crew now. Crew over here. Okay, so the crew are going to come in uh, against the jackal. It will be a minus one to hit, so they're going to be hitting on fours. Mm. Not supreme, but it'll be fine. They'll do the job. Oh, not bad one, at all. Yeah, minus one. 
So six at minus one. Just a five up then. And then a six up. And no. Yay! Okay, so the and I gotta pay finally. one CP for the grizzly feast. They will eat the corpse of the person and get a five up, feel no pain going forwards. So good. Nom, 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 nom. So here we are at the end of all the combat. I lost one guy over here, but we managed to take down the last jackal, and the crew managed to swarm forward and destroy the other ones there. So we have completely and we did the grizzled feast, yes. so we ate it. So you've got completely um, uh, control over there. Uh, good news for us. Pushing forward into the combined forces of Cultus and Chaos, we score. How many do we score? We, we scored, scored three then. One, two, three at the end of that. And Chewie failed his morale over here, meaning that his last berserker ran unfortunate. Goodbye. So as we begin, turn four or three for them? It's their turn three. Their turn three. Indiscriminate projectiles. Let's just get it on camera. Let's see it, baby. This is where you get your another three sixes again, isn't it? Two sixes! Oh, you're slightly uh, lesser than before. Who are you going to target with these more wounds? Yes. Yeah, he's gone. Yeah, get one on the stealth suits. Get rid of the stealth suits. Oh, so it kills the one that's already wounded. And then you've got another one to dole out as well. Where do you want to put that? Probably put it on him. Yes. Yep, onto the... Because uh, you might kill him if you were all big three. No, he's got uh, four. Oh, they got four, do they? Ooh, take two, two though. Still pretty good. Cool. Right, so they're going to be back after they've done their movement. Maim, kill, burn! Maim, kill, burn! So here we are after the Cults and Chaos movement and the Terminators have finally arrived. They are stonkingly terrifying. Um, oh, now, I haven't moved him. Well, Sorry. you haven't moved him, but you aren't going to scream him forward, aren't you? Uh, I am going to... Yeah. Cool, we'll deal with that one in a minute. You've also deployed the boys who are going to go forward uh, in the name of the cult and take on the Crisis Suit and Brave Sir Robin. And they've also split another force over here to eliminate the Pathfinders and push forward onto these objectives. The bikes have now fully secured this objective, so you're doing pretty well in terms of points over there. Um, you've left this com backfield completely left alone, but it's unfortunately immobilised me because I can't get to any objectives. So it's been quite useful. Um, that's it for your movement, apart from the truck, who we're going to move right now. Who ends over here? Okay, so that's all your movement done. Psychic phase, none now. So it's going into the shooting phase, and I'm guessing there's going to be a few flamers that are going to light up these guys. Yeah, so we'll dart with the flamers into, into here, my pathfinders. Cool, Sorry, okay, so... Four flamers, four hand flamers, uh, so that is 13 hits. Ooh, nasty. Let me just grab your uh, dice tray. Uh, four wounds. That's only only three wounds. Wow. On the pathfinders, minus. Uh, no minus. No minus. So it should be five ups. Yeah. Which I'm going to take on the drone. So fours. Nice. And fours. Nice. Ooh. Okay. No wounds. Demo charge. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's for one, one shot. Oh, I'll CP. It. CP for one oh. shot. Classic. And it misses, well, three ones in a row, that's bad. Like, that's the worst I've seen use the stratagem to make it auto <laughs> um, uh, These guys advance, so they can't, they can't shoot. But all. they will be able to um, charge later with a strat. Genetic yeah. lineage. Uh, what about all the shooting from the Terminators? Well, I'll, I'll just finish off my little oh, sorry. Piece. So I'll do all my shooting into them. So heavy stubber first. Sure. Unfortunately, no. And the auto cannon, no. uh, one hit. One wound, minus one. Okay. Uh, so these guys here. Just on the fire yeah, so fives. Ooh, one dies. Okay, so that's all of the shooting from the cults done that can see everything. Uh, I guess now it's time for Chewie to have a bit of a think about who he wants to target with this, because if he either knocks me off the objective here, then it means it's impossible for him to score it, or he eliminates uh, Robin over here and maybe moves on with a charge against these guys. Let's have a think. Okay, so Chewie is thinking about using some flamers to get rid of the stealth suit over here. Okay, all right. Okay, so... You should be, because you can only be nine inches away from yeah, yeah. you in that sort of three-inch corridor. Is it all the flamers that are going into him, Chewie? Yes. Okay. Minus one to hit. How many flamers have you got in that group of ten? Uh, I've got one, two, uh, two normal, and yep. two heavy. Cool, so let's do them, baby. So wow, it's... fiery. Yeah, incredibly so. so. Uh, what's your... plus two? Yeah, but what's toughness of the... Oh, it's four. 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 Oh, so right, I'll do the normal flamers first, then. Sure. For nine shots. Nine, uh, ten, 13. eleven. 13. Oh, you did extra because let the galaxy yeah. burn. Oh, yeah, six, yeah. Two, That's oh, nasty. This is where yes, they really. This is how we've got the decent plus two. Yeah, points. this is where they're coming into play now. 12 and 13. Oh. 
13 auto hit. Fours. Fours. Oh, man, that's a. Ooh, how many saves have I got there? You've got uh, eight, seven. Four, seven. five, six, seven minus. Minus that. Okay, so if this is a three up saves. I am dead. <laughs> I am so dead. So the stealth suit has been knocked off of the objective over there, gasping as he is eviscerated by the flames. So then it'll so be the bolters and the melters into um, Brave Sir Robin. Sir Robin over here. There's nothing you can do to mitigate damage with Sir Robin, is there? So we're just going to take these ones on the very goatee mm -hmm. chin. So what's happened here is that uh, Chewie's fired his combi bolters and his regular bolters down into this squad of five uh, strike guys over here. How many uh, saves have I got to make? You've got it at six. Six in total, and it was minus? No. None. So it's a three up save because I am behind cover. And I fail three times, so that is down to two models in this unit. Not good for me. Nor my morale. I was down to one guy, actually. Oh, no. And then two melter shots into Sprave to Robin. Yeah, so he's going to shoot some melter shots into Robin's Hitting back now. Hitting on twos. Oof, nasty. Wounded on threes. Wounded on threes. Oh, even nastier. Yeah. OK. So two four ups. Two four ups. Go, Robin, go, Robin, go. He made neither of them. Is it worth a CP? CP. <laughs> OK, so CP is going to be re-rolling one of these. Come on, Bean, come on. Yay. So he only takes one horrible melter to the back. Four, two. Two. Ooh. Cool. So he's got six to start, and then that's 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 will take him down to four. Does he get D6 uh, plus two? Sorry, because of the melter? No, melter, no, no it's only for flamers. Sure. Oh, okay. Let the galaxy burn, yeah. Gotcha. OK, so that... You've also got... Um... Oh, seven, so he's down to five. Two down guys to five shooting bolters at com uh, some oh, yeah, so. combi and then two guys shooting it with normal bolters. Oh, so pop a uh, five. Normal bolters. These are the normal bolters going in as well? No, no, one hit. No, no, you've got um, you Black four Legion. Shots each. Oh, well, no, because I was shooting the combi. Okay, so that's you get, So you're hitting on Sorry. three, Freeze. so there's one hit. One hit. And then you've got another eight of shots because they're rapid fire yeah. two. Yeah, okay, so. Uh, eight shots. Eight shots. Well, no, hang on. It's um, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I do apologise. Minutes. Yeah. Okay. okay. So. Drop two. Hit on twos. Hit on fives. Add another yeah. one. Yeah. yeah. Fives. Oh, that's oh, really wow. good. Wow. Okay. okay. There you go. No five AP. Wounds. Five wounds. Okay. So five, five wounds. Five wounds. Okay. Fives on a three. Yeah. Oh, he's taken another two wounds. Another two wounds. He's down to three. Still alive for the moment. For the moment. For the moment, yes. <laughs> okay, so that's not looking too great for Brave Sir Robin over there. That's, that's all of the shooting done, though. So after the charges were declared, we've got the Rock Grinder made it in against these guys here. Uh, the Acolytes with yeah. the Fan Flamers managed to make it in as well, as did this group into the Crisis Suit. And then something hilarious happened in that Sir Robin paid a CP for the Photon Grenades or the Repulsor Barrier, so it was a minus two to the charge, making it 11 inch charge. And Chewie made it with gusto. Even the Overwatch from Sir Robin only managed to charge off one wound from the Terminators. Ow Chihuahua, I believe, is the term here. So it's time for some fighting. And I guess you better go here first, because otherwise Beanie's going to pay to interrupt. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't <laughs> do that. that. So what I'm going to do is use the chains of fists first. Mm -hmm. This is going to be all of the Terminators yes. going in against Beanie yeah, here. Yeah, just the chains of fists with different AP. Um, that's an additional because of wanton slaughter. Mm. They, Delicious. Yeah. And three to wound. Oh, is it minus one to hit him? No. No. Oh, no, right. it's minus one on your. On your oh yeah, yeah. Sorry. Plus one. Oh yeah, yeah. That's no, fine. No, because I thought it was he had. No, 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 no. That's no. fine. And then. So three to wound. Three to wound. Um, and that's AP minus four. four. Okay, so I got four ups. Good effort. Gonna CP one, cause why not? Yay. Okay. D3 How much damage? D3, D3 damage. One. Was it two? Just one. One. For the two, two. it would just be uh, oh, two extra, uh, three, three extra, three extra oh, there. No. And then their strength. Five, so wooden on fours. Four Five wounds. Five wounds. One left. Can I make all of them? I do. No. 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 Bye, Robin. He's gone. Oh. Now I'll just consolidate them Sorry. out of view of the broadside. <laughs> so here we are after our turn four, and there's been a bit of a discussion. We realized that because of the fact that at the beginning of the round there was some disappearing shenanigans, this uh, objective marker has gone, so all of that hard-fought battle was for naught. 
we were thinking to ourselves, can we actually win the game? So we did the maths, we like gamed it out a little bit, we rolled again to see which objective marker would disappear in turn five, that one would go, and we realized that because we were always gonna be holding this one and we would be able to push onto this objective, remove the jackals and uh, avoid being charged by this horrible blob of horrors there, we would actually end up with a draw, 10-10 at the end of things. So. Yes, yeah, so what we've done is we've agreed uh, to do that because we've got places to be, people to see, and things to do. Mainly eat, sleep, and poop. So I hope that you enjoyed <laughs> yeah, no, all in the same time, basically. Yeah, I'd definitely rather poop so, before I sleep. So there we go. That has been our 3,000 point game of Cultists and Chaos versus uh, Double Tau. I hope that you enjoyed this. And Double I want to give a massive thank you not only for Chewy for having all of us over here to play. So thank you very much, Chewy, and being a light man as well, which is fantastic. That's not a problem. Um, just, and bring in an amazing force here, but also to Adam as well, who has been able to join us today. Thank you so much, my friend. Yeah, Appreciate it. Um, also, your terrain is fantastic. Adam made and painted all of these, so if you see this in a future battle report, give him some love. Um, also, one more thing, where can people find you on the social medias if they want to? Uh, give, them some mic, give them a mic time, give them a mic time. I'm on Instagram as uh, Friday6 with a one, like the comic book character. Nice. Uh, that's about it, really. I'm not really big on the old socials, a bit old. <laughs> so, no, that means that, that so that means that you can find Adam over there. Links in the description below. And you can follow Chewy over on Instagram at... It's DZTV underscore Chewy. Damn right, it is. You can follow Beanie over on Instagram at... Beanie40k. And you can follow me over on Instagram at RetroJ. But the O is a zero. Thank you so much for watching this. Hope that you enjoyed it. It's been a lovely weekend. And next week, we'll back to the garage. Oh, playing indoors is a real treat, treat for us. It's yeah, a treat for us. Yeah, it is. We are going to be very cold next week. Yes, we are. <laughs> See you soon, boys. Bye. Bye.